All right, fine then. Huh. Damn needy players, what do they know? Anyway, last time on The Dynamics of Good and Evil. Talik, the Paladin, Rania, the Halfling Druid, Dashkin, the Barbarous Dragonborn, Bundle, the Tabaxi Ranger, and Mephisto Bard Feliana made their way to a Luplander encampment after retreating from an attempted plunging of the Undersider Pass. After Fel was headed, healed by Ged, a second-hand merchant and follower of Goliv, the crew took a breather for the evening, sharing stories by a collective outskirts campfire after parlaying with the Lup leaders. Ged had a slip of the tongue regarding Tiamat's Chosen, and a frustrated Kira was coerced into dropping some choice history on the party. And now, the crew has recovered over a fine night's sleep and awaken on a new dawn of a new hopeful day once more. Anyway, welcome back to the dynamics of good and evil. Hooray. Hooray! <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, it's a pleasant enough morning. Uh, we don't really have any morning routines besides Dash gets up earlier than all of you, right? No, um, no. The, the one time he got up earlier was just for that. Just okay. for that burning of the hair. Actually, uh, Other than that, he just gets up whenever and does his exercises. Actually, Talek wakes up at the crack of dawn since he'd always lived on the farm. And it is dawn. The dinosaur is nowhere to be seen. <gasps> what about the pig? Uh, you're not awake. Talek goes, uh, takes a little walk around a little bit, just. Looking for a good rock to sit on. Perception. Yay. Well, actually, no. You you find a good rock to sit on. It's uh, just a uh, about a quarter mile away from the camp. Okay, Talik proceeds to sit down and takes a meditate my uh, meditation uh, band sitting upon the rock. The rock mm -hmm. starts moving. It's actually the tortoise. Uh. I would wake up around like seven something. Seven, seven thirty. Yeah. After dawn. Yeah. Uh, Dash should probably wake up at about the same time. Rania wakes up too. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, Rania slithers out of his uh, bedroll. Yeah. Kind of like slinks out like a butterfly coming out of a caterpillar. Mm. I mean, that could do. Meanwhile, Dash is gonna look around for all the for the other people who were with us in our little encampment. Ged, uh, Kira, uh, Kira, uh, Kira, Hygric, and Belxis are still there. Ged is not quite in your sight range. Hmm. Are they awake or still sleeping? Uh. Belxis is awake. Hygric and Kira are just uh, still uh, in REM mode. How you, how you doing, Belxis? <sighs> Crick's neck. I think I was sleeping on a few rocks. Uh, that makes two of us then. <laughs> A little bit of smoke exits her nostrils as she just inhales and exhales slowly. Feeling better? Face? Eyes? Sorry to remind you. Just one task. Um, well, you look at her face and it looks fine enough. She's got... Oh. She's still got the, the discoloration due to, like, the gel and the Quartz. basic healing magic that uh, Ged was able to work on her, but currently uh, her face looks yeah, fine. Is there a wicked scar? Oh yes, there is quite the wicked uh, chunk that looks like a, like a trench still dug along her flesh from like her <laughs> nostril to under her eye. Does it look like she's been applying the salve that I've been that I gave you her? Yeah. Mm. You can tell that much by the discoloration. Mm. Well, uh, hopefully it'll do something to lessen that. 
Feeling better, Belxis? I thought you asked that already. Yeah, I did. I didn't get any anything. So, yeah. I just asked if she was feeling better. I, I'll shut it up now. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, kind of uh, getting all this stuff together in the of the day. Uh, are there any left landers about, by the way? Oh, yeah, there are some uh, Some of the many left landers now appear. Just, uh, they're moving about, mm -hmm. just uh, carrying huge bags of seed and massive jugs which you assume are to be water jugs they start heading a bit towards the river okay well uh do i see uh the high matron woman around perception check Ooh. Mm. Rania, uh tap his forehead real quick perception God damn. Nope. yeah no no amount not even a four is gonna save that no no yeah, I got some sleep in my eye still. All right. Who else put Rania? <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, while Rania's looking around, yeah, she's going to look to Phil. How's the leg? How is it? I mean, like, it's only been it's, it's one It's still day? a bit numb. Uh, just a wee bit. It still feels a tad off, but it it's definitely not the sad, sorry state it was yes, It was the previous morning. <laughs> Well, it's a. Uh, it feels a bit off, but at least it's not how it was before. Because no, Christ, God, it's not. Narnia is thinking about putting belly on his leg now. I'd like to. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> nope. No. And you can't use guidance either because you didn't specify you were using it. <laughs> uh, I tapped my head from before. It should still be active. I think more than a minute would have passed at that point. What did it have? No, yes. whatever. Please help me. The leg is already healed. <laughs> no, like, that's an eight mm, medicine. Hmm, <laughs> that is that is a leg, all right. Mm. At this point, Mundo will wake up, seeing that everybody else is also awake. He'll uh, stretch and say, oh, okay, everyone's here. Okay, yeah, I was bundle. actually waiting for you to get up because I wanted to ask you what the game plan was. Hey, buddy. Yeah. That is a that is a good point. He says rather <laughs> sleepily as he scrounges around for his stuff, and as he's uh, talking about the plan, he'll be trying to make some more poison out of those uh, tr mushrooms that he has and the m mortar and pistol that he has. But mm, what would I have to roll to get that started while talking? My intelligence. I'm just munching on some good berries. Rip. Uh, it is rip. early in the morning, my dude. How will I fit these mushrooms on the tips of my arrows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shoot them with mushrooms, and the, then they suddenly grow taller. Brunk, brunk, brunk. Okay. Well, at that point, Bundle's like, it's too damn early for this. And then just puts the mushrooms back up. But he says, okay, here's what I'm thinking. If 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 I can have everyone's uh, vote on this, I say we go back and try the underpass again. Granted, it wasn't the most successful venture, he says as he looks over to Feli on his leg. Uh, you hear whistling yeah, from around the corner as Ged appears with a, just a heaping ton of fruits and some bread. Like, hmm, <laughs> oh, oh, good morrow. Hey there, Ged. Hello. Hey, Ged. Uh, rem refresh my memory. How long is it going to take for Felion's leg to fully heal? Hmm. That's right, I need my dice. Wait, didn't you say like, uh, like from the moment that, uh, from the one that he healed my leg, it would take about like three days. To heal? It would take between forty-eight and uh, seventy-two hours. Okay, okay, okay. okay. 
it would be before it's fully functional. You, you would still need crutches up until probably the third day to still be comfortable. And even then, you probably still want to have those crutches on you for at least a week, just in case you like make a stumble or something. Like just yeah. just in case you sprain it, because you're. The thing is, he remolded. Like he he explained it to you again. He basically remolded your entire lower leg to where it, it's still very tender and kind of in a very uh. Yeah, it's been a very tender state. Of I think Talek wants to say something. Better typing here. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. D realizing this finally, uh, unless I need to roll to realize. No, no, you're like, oh yeah, one, two, three. Hey, Talek. Hmm. Talek. Dash is calling over. Tal he Talek really can't, can't hear anybody. He's too much deep into meditation right now. Roll for <laughs> roll for concentration. Don't you mean constitution? That's what I said. Concentration. Con con is what determines your concentration. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's still. He he can hear like echoes, but he doesn't. He's still kind of deep. Dash size. Be right back, and then he just goes over to where Talek is and taps him. Did you see where he head. went? I thought you said I could see him. No, I way. said you could see one, two, three. Oh. There's only three here. When you look what, am, what am I rolling to find them? Uh, perception? Wait, perception or survival? Mm. Perception. It doesn't matter either way. He's dope. It doesn't matter. Matter either way. Yeah, you start yeah. heading. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have the feeling like, he must have gone towards the river, so you move towards the river instead of towards the other corner of the encampment. So you just do 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 do. Ronya scratches the chin and looks around for telek tracks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You 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 notice that there's some lightly indented grass in the shape of a long rabbit's hind leg uh, heading towards the other direction from Dash where Dashigan's heading. <laughs> Ranya whistles over to Dash again. Hey, yep, yeah, over this way. Yep, alright. Well, I'll go get him. <laughs> then Dash will start heading towards Talek. Mm, Ranya goes with him. And then, then when and they I'll get to Talek, Dash. Here. When they get to Talek, Dash will tap him twice on the head. Mm. Oh, what? 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 We're, we're having a group meeting. Come on. Oh, you do realize never tap a rabbit on the head. I don't care. Yeah, they're tossed on the head. You, you don't care. I have a bit of a concussion if you've forgotten. We don't uh, know this, do we? I'll give you that one, but... Well, Dash knows. One, but yeah, I know. I was there oh. for it. Oh, yeah. I'll give you that one, but still, we're having a group meeting. Come on. We all were there for it. Oh, yeah. And besides, I think that concussion has really messed with me. No shit. No, my my, my train of thought's not really the right. Uh, right I mean, me. have we noticed this, or would I need to roll to see if I noticed this? This is news to you, people. Ooh. Fair enough. Well, maybe we, maybe we can get Ged to check you out then. Oh, oh no, yeah, the, it, like... it feels more like it's psychiatrical and spiritual type of mind damage. I really don't know. The oh, rabbit is speaking up. very interesting words to you. <laughs> Ged is a healer. I'm sure he can help you figure out what's wrong. Would I roll investigation, medicine, routine, or religion for this? To check him out. Uh, investigation. Hmm. Ronya scratches his chin as he looks at him. Nope! 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 <laughs> he looks fine! I'm a giant, fluffy, coverable... S bunny. Same an <laughs> same anthropomorphic rabbit you, you've been going with. You just look that uh, different. I mean, maybe that little indent on his skull is something else, but uh, what, what does that mean, anything? Could I, like, roll intelligence to see if I, on the off chance, I know what's wrong? Or sure. What I roll for that. 
<laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> Here I go with my minus one intelligence again. <laughs> Six. I don't know if it would help. I have animals. no idea. What on earth is this rabbit on about? <laughs> uh, regardless, come on, let's get back to the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, pick up Talek and we can go back. He, he, his leg, unlike Feliana, his legs are still working. He, no, he, he did not get caught in that trap. He's hurt. He needs you to carry him like a princess. You carry him, Aranya. Okay, that's it. That's a good. You better stop Talek now. He's going to be a hostile. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ged has brought you some fruits, like ye felon bundle. Aranya yeah. tries to pick up Talek. Okay, that's it. <laughs> nope. Ah! He just he just flex, ah! he just flexes and Rania flies backwards. Ah! Dash is just gonna pick <laughs> both of them up at this point. Hey, Stop hey. being kids, Rania. Uh, back here. <laughs> Am I rolling strength to pick them up? Oh, you're picking them both up. Yeah, Do I'm it. picking both of them sure, up. Sure, strength I'm... check. Do a scrub. What is it? Well, you managed to grab <laughs> Rania. Your luck is really bad today, Dash. Yeah. Mine yeah. is worse. This isn't a competition. If I'm correct, both of you are older than me, and you're acting more childish than me. Hey, he's tall today. He's I don't there. care, I'm acting it. <laughs> okay. Let's so, yeah. So, yeah, right, Ged has brought you some, uh... So, yeah, Ged brought you some fruits, uh... These are these have the rind of a citrus fruit, like the, the peelable oh. skin. However, inside they're 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 dainty and like a cross between an apple and a peach, the kind of inner texture, almost like a dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. You roll a survival, take a bite of it to, to tell what it is. Arnie looks over to Ged. You got sure. permission to get these, right? Have we even made it back yet? <laughs> I meant we're back now. I think this fruit is happening at the same time as we're dealing with your with. Uh, yeah, you guys are being. You're, you guys are almost back when the, he's taking a bite into this. Um, bundle, yeah, you have not? you have seen exhibitions. Oh, okay. FL, you're cultured enough. You've you've had uh, lup cuisine before. Like there have been like it's presented like oh this new exquisite exotic food group and really it's just it's just the things they eat here. It's because it grows in the soil, and they tend and cross breed just different things until they get more delicious and interesting textures. Bundle, you've seen an example of this before, but it was only like on like in like a market. We're like, yes, try the the lup specialty of of plumlas. Hmm. Sounds like druid food. Hey, you guys have made it back by now. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Bite. Oh, food. Cool. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah. Run the rind is ex fruit. is extremely bitter, but somehow, yeah. if you eat it together with the fruit inside, it makes this complimentary, like hmm, like bittersweet, like like ninety percent dark chocolate, Ooh. with like a hint of like of like orange or citrus peel, like hmm, hmm. A bundle will eat his. But it gets stuck in your teeth extremely easily. Oh no! So oh, fell smiles and there's like <laughs> strings everywhere. It's like oh! <laughs> it's like zoom in on a on like the extremely detailed SpongeBob image. It's like oh! <laughs> run and give the dash is gonna blink and hope this stuff melts in his mouth. Run and give fell the radiant thread so she can floss her teeth. Really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. What? What? Do you, uh, what was that? No, what wait. was that? Did I something happen? Because Dash no, talked. No, 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 the cat. The cat is oh. doing something. Oh, okay. Honda, what are you doing? <laughs> Squeak, stop it. No, oh, don't, don't, I don't, can. don't, don't bite the headphones. Yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> An actual cat is doing something. Yeah, he's currently cat sitting. And he's kind of become. Oh god, now there's dogs. 
<laughs> Damn it, Bundle, <laughs> stop attracting the dogs! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you hand, uh, so you give, uh, Tur the Radiant Thread, do you? Mm, no. Um, do you? Uh, probably oh, wouldn't be the best idea, actually. No, no, feel free. Mm, you no. hand the Tiefling the Radiant Thread. Yeah. Did you realize? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, he, maybe we should make a roll intelligence for this. Is that... Maybe. Do you really want to reset? No! Uh, would Kallik notice the radiant thread? Ooh. But, no, wait, oh, do yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I got 17. Like, I think for a second they're like, this may not be the best idea. And I put well, it let, let's see what that's, let's see what the DM gives you for that 17 first. It's a 17. I should <laughs> succeed. <laughs> Hmm, should I give this tiefling this random magical item I have that I'm still not quite sure what it does besides that it has massive potential magical energy? Hmm. Should I give it to her to floss her teeth? Hmm. Did you should say I? that out loud? Did you say that out loud, Rania? No. Okay. You put it back in the bag. Alright, Dash is gonna look to gonna look to get. Hey, uh, get. Question. Yes? Yeah, I'll know. Yeah, this cat now, apparently. <laughs> How are you with head injuries? <laughs> That's a no. I imagine he suffered a few of them. He just looks straight in your eyes. I can't tell. Are you hallucinating right now? <laughs> <laughs> no. But the rabbit might be because uh, he, few few days ago, he suffered an accident, and uh, yeah, he's been acting weird ever since. Nudges up close to you. Do you think he's a hallucination? <laughs> Dax is very confused right now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, based on this response, I'm gonna assume no, you don't know anything about head injuries. Got it. He should be rolling with advantage too, but still. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, that's still a. Uh, never mind, I rolled it and I got a two. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm the I best know. with all injuries. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> so, like, I think he grins and you see a hole in one of his teeth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That's a nope, 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 nope. Nah, I think we need to find you more professional. Anyway, bundle game plan. Bundle just has it. He, by this time, bundle has explained what he wanted to do to everyone but the party. <laughs> I was there. So you and, discussed oh, yeah. it to everyone but the party. So you explained it to what Kira and and Belxis. <laughs> And, and me, because I, I was, there. There, I was well, there. he said everyone but the party. Oh, yeah, because he was trying to explain it earlier, then things happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, so he's just, it, he's just so talking the to the you... gods, apparently. So, anyway, I'm thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> he just took some Lupland children and was like, Hey, you, so here's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for, for the audience, let's go over your plan. Right, because okay, now right. we have an actual audience. Mm. <gasps> audience. Let's all pay attention to that one person. God darn it, Rania. Knock it off. Hello. I am Rania. Anywho. <laughs> so, yes, Ged pops in. like, Ugh. So, yes, uh, I believe we've parlayed well with the lop, with the, the plume people. 
Uh, or is it the lap people? Uh, no, Plun is the language. Ah, yes, I must must get this correct. Um, and Kira's like, oh god, get on with it. He's like, oh yes. Um, w w did you want to continue um northward, or were you have a specific uh end point in mind, Miss Kira? Well, well. Wait, who's he? He he's talking with Kira, but very openly and not oh. very stealthily. Wait, where are you guys going? Uh, she looks up and says, "Uh, it's a toss-up between Redport, between Redport and uh, Fort Dreadgrave." What's up at Fort Dreadgrave? Oh, just stuff. Insight. <clears throat> Nope. You don't know. You don't the full of stuffing. Oh, oh and then mm -hmm. too. Run your stairs, that Kira. Well. Oh. Um, yeah. That just be more history for you guys, but eh, okay. Oh. Well, just, it's it's same modifier. Know. No wait, history is mm -hmm. intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that'd be intelligence. Change, change the modifiers. Okay, so, so that would bring I got me down 11. to the. I'd have a 16. What is my 19? If we're if we're just changing the modifier, yeah, never mind. Never mind. You. T I got this. Still know. And the kitten is even closer. I'm watching you. <laughs> Little rascal. So yes. Um. The so. Has that already earned your heart. So Talik, Rania, and Bundle. Uh, you guys have heard of Fort Dreadgrave. It is actually among the westernmost uh, commands in the land of Red Cray. It is uh, very close to the edge of Doom and it's just off the river So, and it's uh, adequately named because the first commander there was a necromancer. Turned out. Oh! oh, oh dead and undead but, they, area. but they got over that. Oh. He, he, they got better. They got better, right? Right? Uh, At least that's what the less communiques have said in the Daily Gazettes. Does that mean that there's undead over there? There was. I think, yeah, I think that implies that commander is no longer in command. <clears throat> Probably not uh, of his own volition, too. Yeah, you see, and Kira continues, Yeah, he wants to go to Fort, Fort Dreadgrave. I and want to go to Redport. How come you want to go to Redport, if I may ask? Well, there's a thriving... Just a thriving community over there, and I could perform. Gra grab some... Uh, grab some uh, some coin for some performances. Uh. In other yeah. words, things... Mm -hmm. Frolic, but... skitter, the things that Damn we do. Um, oh shit. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so we got a 16. Uh, Bundle's just gonna nod and say, I can understand that. Things get a little boring out in the middle of nowhere. More importantly, why don't you want to go to Fort Dreadcrave? Okay, Rania, you ever. You saw her kind of. like, wince an eyelid at the mention of. at the mention of Dreadcrave? Is it like the knights who say me? It is it too late for me to roll an insight as well? You can. I know she's a little twitchy. Hey, there oh, we go. damn! Um, she had a bit of a shiver with that when the when the emphasis was put on the word grave a little bit. So that's a little bit of a hint. Oh. Mm. But yeah, Ged's like, no, no, it'll be excellent to go up there. I mean, think of the discoveries. Think of the, think of the 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 rustic culture up there. Come on, uh, Kira, have a little adventure. And Kira is just uh, certainly like, mm 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 mm. Hey, right. break it. Oh, no, no. Hate to break it to you, Ged, but uh, don't even all. Uh, Whole ton of gold would get her to go up there. 
She pauses like, with... yeah, I don't know about that. There's maybe a lot of gold. But... <laughs> yeah, she just shrugs. <clears throat> Yeah, but yeah, and she just like points at him like, I know, sure as hell, he just didn't have that much gold. Hmm. So maybe that'd be a reason for you to go with Kira to Redport, Ged. Get some gold, maybe then you could bear to escort him up to Drake Great. But, 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 but Redport's mm. boring. I would disagree, but okay. Bundle then perks up, you know... We still all owe you a favor, Kira. This is true. Bundle owes you too. <laughs> that. <laughs> Calyx's ears would drop. Oh man, do I really have to help these people out? That's mm. how favors work, Talek. Uh, I assume she just asked me for a foot rub. Kira, feel free to punch him. <laughs> Yeah, won't, won't, will not take another punch for him. Not okay. for you. <laughs> you might actually kill me. <laughs> this all is right. not a slide against Elsis at all. Damn it, I missed. Ah. I fired and I missed. <laughs> uh, tell like I was saying, Kira, feel free to punch him. <laughs> well, you I'm already got to... your free hit. Yeah, but I'm that close to Tarania, so I figured I would punch him for her. I no, don't, don't, don't steal other people's thunder, Talek. You had your chance. Uh, just figured I'd be a nice bunny to her. It's not the same, though. It's never the same. Run your pets, Talek. Well, I figured what? that if she were to see someone else be, get, get feeling pain, it would bring her comfort, and why she delivers the next pain. She anyway, even Bundle, what exactly was your plan you wanted to bring up? If the little kitten was a little, was too scared to go to Dreadgrave alone, mm -hmm. with, uh, he's he's basically trying to push your buttons at this point. If the little kitten is too scared to go to Dreadgrave... Her eyes never... narrow so hard they almost slam shut when you mention the word scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Where'd that lightning come from? <laughs> I'm going to keep saying the thing when I'm saying. If she's too scared, we can tag along with her and keep her nice and safe in a condescending town. Oh, shit. I'm going to roll something. Yeah, Fel's face <laughs> is just like, oh, shit. <laughs> Alex slides away from everybody knowing something's going to be thrown. Dash, Dash is just going to openly comment. I was kind of open for Red War, but... Runya keeps an eye on Kira and, like, inches closer to uh, Bundle uh, and speaks into his mind real quick. He uh, want me to give you a little bit of guidance, man. I think something may, uh, may go down if you keep pushing her like this. Bundle's looking dead at Kira. See what she's gonna do. Oh shit! Italy. Rania has his hand ready. Paul's just like his funeral. His funeral. Yeah, pretty much. Schmidt. Dash is just waiting to figure okay. out what our plan is. She, she attempts to intimidate you with a. 12, but... Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, he rolls a charisma save, right? Charisma save, yep. or a counter-intimidation, or... It'll be a charisma save? Okay. Uh, a counter-intimidation? Gonna... Well, you did say you're, you're condescending to her? It's a girl pers oh. persuasion disadvantage. Because condescension is not really a good way to persuade someone. No. It's, it isn't. It's a more of a leading type thing. Mm. So, persuasion... Da, 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 da. 14! I still, still beat it! <laughs> I still beat it, so what's up? <laughs> 
yeah, she just narrows her eyes really hard at you, but you're like, eh, <laughs> cute kitty. <laughs> And, and he, he looks, he sees as he's staring at him, he, and he just kind of grins. But am I wrong? Oh, shit. I feel like you two need a room. Beagle get that angry, that angry thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, does anybody know any romantic love of the jungle type of songs? Stop it. Maria looks over at Feliana. Don't look at me. Dash again against his <laughs> against his player's better judgment attempts to play that goddamn dumb ocarina again. Just <laughs> <laughs> giggle. <laughs> I will play you the song of my people. <laughs> 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 Okay. It's like it's like that high school it's like that high school band rendition of my heart will go on. <laughs> what is Bell's oh, well dear, dear Dear Roll save me from this. Damn it! <laughs> oh. oh God, that was a natural three. Exactly. I said my characters that didn't have any sort of instrumental. You both rolled natural anything. threes. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, um, oh my god. With all of this going on after I said what I said, what happened? <laughs> oh god. Kira has a big old frown on her face <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> she holds up Eat three that. fingers. Mm -hmm. Three fingers. Right, uh -oh. She put she puts one down and then flicks it back up. Oh. <laughs> mm. Bundle favor counter. Ding! Okay. Wait, you are three favors? Yeah. Um, I know exactly what that means. They had sex. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Rania. <laughs> oh, she doesn't kick my ass. Okay. I know what this is. <laughs> oh boy. And Bundle just kind of shrugs and says, no, all you have to do is ask. Not being condescending, actually offering help. Mm -hmm. So, Saranya, so you're seeking insight onto what? Oh, oh uh, yeah, you, you realize that yeah. she just, that, that she's insulted onto where now she, he owes her three favors. Mm. Oh. So he's gonna owe her a back rub. So you're not wanting to try the under, the underpass again, bundle. Uh, this bundle re returns back. I do want to go to the underpass. Don't get me wrong, but if we're still not, <laughs> you fool hardies. <laughs> Rania looks over at Bundle. Why do you want to go to the underpass so much? That's a good question. Tavik replies. Bundle says that I have a job there. What was that job again? <sighs> to save the Countess. Huh. No, that's, uh, oh, yeah, that's the Contessa. That one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I forgot about all that. He <laughs> gets oh, laughing yeah, through a mouthful of fruit. You guys <laughs> did mention something about a countess before. Oh, yeah. 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 That's just that here. <laughs> she was captured by what? A the giant pink, pink bubble. Ah. What he said. And we have to go to the underpass to what? Save her from the pink bubble? To get qu answers from the. F Fay Wilds. I'm recapping yeah. for the audience, by the way. Yeah, I I kind of get it. Okay. To re to re to uh to consult the Fay Wilds, to which I believe her people may have either insulted, backed out on a deal. I don't know, but I swore that we would do the job that we had for her, and we did it, and still have yet to get paid from that. Um, on the other hand, 
the people of Trut still need their leader. As irresponsible as they as she may be, she still has a job to do. Anya the... waves up the hand. Uh, shouldn't they be sending people to go rescue her then? What do you yes. considering how, at least in my perspective, as me and Beliana joined you guys late, considering how quickly they say, seem to send a replacement to snatch up her job, uh, I doubt they'd send anyone after her. Yeah, <laughs> they leave, uh, yeah that's, that's the way the royals handle things. Well, <laughs> says Ged. They all and see, that is uh, part of animals. the many reasons I dislike yes. all this. Why is he not talk? Hey, Sorry. Rabbit's talking here. Yes, let's Sorry. Rabbit talk. Uh, well, apparently, her people see her as a, uh, uh, a B-I-T-C-H, sadly. A bitch? That's they, a bit harsh. I can't say the word, okay? I can only spell it. What does a female dog uh, have to do with the what? That's what the people keep seeing her as. Like, that's what they're seeing her as. Yeah, like, she just slowly looks to Rania. What? I'm, I think I'm more tribal than you and I know what that means. Common is my second language, all right? It's my second language, too, and I still understood what that meant. Look, like, uh, like oh, I know what it means. I just hey, don't hey, know hey, what hey, it hey, means hey, in the con. Both of you. Look, Bono uh -huh. and I don't know what, what the term, uh, uh, what's title was she going by again? Countessa. Thank Countessa. you. Countessa. We don't know what's going on between the Countess, Countess, Countessa. Uh, even so, the Countess. <laughs> how's that? Countess. How's that? Okay. And the people. We don't know what's going on between those two. All Bundle and I know is that she hired us for a job, and we still haven't complete it yet. Plus, how can we just leave someone to the fate of the Feywilds? That's... People kind of do that all the time, but I don't see a point. Our thinking will be better than that. It is yeah. the job of the Druids yeah. to go in the uh, to go talk to the Fey whenever they get. When they clash with uh, 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 civilization, but Ron you know, kind of grimaces. I have very limited experience with the Fae, but I don't remember them being the greatest of people. <laughs> Not one. I mean, you piss off the Fae so much. <laughs> is the underpass the only way into the Fae Wilds? Mm. Get shoes. Mm. No, but... Okay, so basically, he starts drawing a diagram on the ground, which is can basically be represented by the fae, by the veil keep, or diagram here. So basically, yeah. you've got this, this massive entrance to the fae wild, housed in this big old glittery purple and green keep. But, in order to keep outsiders out, they cast will they cast wild weather magic all around it, which means at any time during the day, any time during the year, it vacillates between freezing hail, hurricanes, blizzards, and just plain old bad weather. The stuff that that most foolhardy adventures would say, ha, ha, heck with that, we're going around. Unfortunately, it surrounds the entire keep. Now, however, uh, know, certain adventurers have too. found that it is there. There is a weak spot, like an eye of the hurricane, if you will, towards the south end of it. However, that part is only accessible through that pass, unless you're going to try and cross the river. What happens if you try and cross the river? I'm only guessing the worst things. Hey, do you know what? Sa do you know what Sahagan are? <laughs> and what I don't would, know. What do we roll the? Nature. What? Nature. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, oh damn! <laughs> Apparently, I've probably had run-ins with them. Run you. Run you. Stupid. You're farm boy. You're you're excused. Yeah. Ah, uh, never really studied nature. More. I got better than Dash, and I didn't get a nat. This... I got a nat twenty, motherfucker. You can't beat that. Fell. Can't uh, I with a higher roll? Bundle nope, and Talon. always higher. 
bundle and talic, you guys I like think that makes sense. S- 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 sagan? What's a sagan? Uh Fell, you remember a bargain? you think you remember hearing somewhere in a, like a fairy story about like the legend of the of the, of the Sagan Deeps, but you can't quite remember the details. Uh Rania and Dash. So, ha- so do both of you know what the shape of water is? <laughs> yes. I've never seen I've ever seen the movie yet. I haven't seen it. Okay, do you know you the concept? Uh Lady oh. wants to fuck a fish man, yeah. Yeah. That that oh, creature is basically a, a Sagan. Okay. Um, Think the creature uh, Dash, from the Black you, Lagoon. Yeah, uh, or uh, have you seen uh, Hellboy? Yes. Think, yeah. think Abe, I mean, Sa- Abe Sapien, but less of, less sentient. Out of character, mm-hmm. out of character, I know what to hog. In okay. character is another story. Out okay. of character. No, no, you you net twenty that Dash. Yeah. You Which is why I'm saying them. Dash might have had run-ins with Sahagin before. With that kind tried, of role. You might have eaten one before. Nom, 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 nom. That would be convenient. Oh, I definitely know what Sahagin are. I've uh, had the displeasure of running into them once or twice. I thought they were just fairy tale. What's a Sahagin? Rania looks twitchy. A very, a very, very, uh... I believe the common word is displeasant race of fish folk. Okay, wait, 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 fish folk is like mermaids? No! No, 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 no. Oh. They're humanoids. They're, they're humanoids. <laughs> no, no, but... the merfolk can usually friendly. The Sagan are from the depths. Bundle The pause. abyssal depths. Bundle pause. Yeah. Second. He paused for a second before asking, can you eat... Would I know I, about I that, know. considering my nat 20? I know that they tried to eat me. There's civilized human life form thingies bundle. Why would you think that? The, mm, they're, they're kind of dicks. Uh, uh, basically, out of character, things. if you were to attempt to eat them, you would need to survive a con check in order to not get blood frenzy. Okay. Oh, shit! Yeah, I'm Damn. asking, does my nat 20 give me any insight as to, like, the mannerisms of Sahag and, and uh... They're you know, easily irritated, what? and they usually populate the deep. Mm. And so generally are... They're generally hostile. Territorial is all hell. Hmm. I don't know, but I do know this. If we go anywhere near their territory, they, uh... Yeah, they won't be happy. I would recommend getting a steep and thick hulled boat before crossing, and even then... Run your raises hands. I could give us water breathing, but that could only go so far. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't want run yet. We wouldn't want to fight them in their own turf. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I can turn into a, sh- a reef shark, but I think they that's the toughest fuck thing. You up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could definitely. I mean, uh, he's like, well, if you only run into a couple, but. Uh, I also have let, a me couple see. Of what, spells, let me see but... what season is again. It's summer. Oh, yeah, mating season is just beginning, so. Pass. Oh, no, nope. no we're, not, we're not going there. No, no, no. So, no. yeah, uh, River sounds like it's actually the worst option. So, compared to the other options. Mm, right, depends on your then definition of worse. Or the whole of a store. Roger looks like he has an idea, and then it passes out of his mind like, no, well, that would be terrible. Well, uh, Ged pipes up, actually, here's the way you should think about it. He breaks off a big piece of spiced bread and just munches it in the same boat. So, in other words, the river is dangerous, but you're adventurers, you can take that. What I'm saying yeah. is, you guys are also adventurers, so you probably want treasure. Now, the Undersider Pass will probably have some treasure, since bobolds and flame skulls and all that stuff will probably be down there somewhere. Uh, mm. You guys experienced a trap, so something's down there that's worth concealing. Meanwhile, if you just cross the river, you're just skipping the fun adventuring part and going straight to the objective, which is up to you. It's completely up to you. Um, like, Although there were also sightings of... Uh, 
a bigger creature in the river at one point, but the might have still only been a hundred years ago. But I can't speak to that. Lane's currently pocketing some of the fruit. Da Dash looks to bundle. If, if we want to attempt the underpass again, we can. Just I don't think we should expect either Heidrick or Belpsis to come with us after the uh, rather miserable fail of yeah. last time. That we got our asses handed to us. Bundle just raises a brow. They're under contract. Dash your shrugs. <laughs> Wait, so they're sticking with us um, uh, as long as we're going there, so until we actually go into the underpass and get through it, they'll are, stick are, are, are Belxis and Hydrix still here? Oh yeah, they're just off to the side, like re like she's restringing a, uh, a bow, and he's just tending to his uh, wares and weapons. D Dash looks over to them. What say you two? If we were to try to give the underpass another go, would you be with us? Hyger lifts up, lifts up a thumb. Uh, Belxis, hey. Belxis is kind of. He... She's just breathing. Like... Blinks, and goes oh. back to her bow string, just testing it, Running tightening it. The forehead. Well, regardless, we still got to wait for Feli on the deal, but at the very least, you have my vote, I get, I guess, uh, Bundle, for what that counts. Then Bundle looks to the others. Yeah, everyone has a say. Mm -hmm. I'm not forcing anyone to go with me. I so, still... Uh, go ahead. Ladies first, ladies first. No, I'm go ahead. Sorry. Nope, no, no, go, no, go ahead. All right. Get on with it! I will solve this issue right now. Metallic, you're one. Feliana, you're two. Yeah, that was the one. Metallic, you, Metallic, you go. <laughs> okay. Well, as a paladin, you guys would be lost without me. So, I really can't argue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, you guys need a good tank. We do, we do. So far. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, no offense, uh, the Dashkin, but you make a poor meat shield uh, some of the time. Like, you, you, you need a little more beefiness to you, man. I put the blame of that entirely on my portraits of subclass. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll get that fixed later. But hopefully, yeah. Eliana. Well, I mean, uh, if well, I want I want to go back to the underpass. I mean, I know the first time was incredibly horrible. Like, or you guys, or you guys could uh, tag along with us to <sighs> Redport, or you could head on to another location. You're not bound. It's not like it's not like the the land's falling into disrepair, is it? In the background, you can see a a child climb on top of the dinosaur. Hooray! Hooray! The dinosaur like bucks back and says. <laughs> oh, poor child. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen worse. I've had worse, actually. I'm pretty sure that child is tougher than us. You see a pair of legs sticking out of the crowd. <laughs> Rania goes over to help the child up. Anyway, as I was saying, I still have a job to do, and I aim to complete it. I usually try to do complete everything that gets thrown at me otherwise what kind of a what kind of a tabaxi would I be if I didn't actually fi finish what I started and as Bundle said that Talix's ears dropped and realized something is wrong with him and for me <gasps> for me even though even though the company of the Phoenix is gone now apparently I took an oath to. I took an oath to help out. I took an oath to do good where good was needed. So I would be breaking my oath if I uh, did otherwise. Anya walks back to dash again with the shoe. The child disappears under the soil. Yeah. Can, <gasps> can you help the kid, please? 
I, I, just, I just lets loose a string of curses in Draconic and goes to help. I'm him. not good at this. The child what reappears above the soil, twenty feet away. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, Bro, I can't give him back the shoe. Uh, the, the, uh, Ronya rolls the shoe back to him, like, uh, sorry. Take it down. You do know shoes don't really roll. And uh, it kind roll of over shoe. I don't know. Sure, roll for shoe. Roll a d20. <laughs> oh, no. no. No no guidance either. Straight d20. Fine. Roll for oh, dang. You toss it, like, straight toward him, like, ding! And he's like, ding a day. And he just puts the slipper back on his foot and starts, runs off. <laughs> This trip has certainly been an experience. Oh my god! They're goddamn cartoon characters. What the heck are we doing now, Faye? So are we all? What's a cartoon? Then? We haven't even. I haven't even checked with everybody else. It says bundle as he looks over the fell. I know I, you said you'd go. Yeah, Italic. Italic holds up his hand. Yeah, I. I gotta go too. It's a paladin's oath to. Protect those that I need. I mean, I, I. Oh, sorry, Tal. Go ahead. And I just realized that I've been losing touch of that. Oh and God, I might be becoming an oath breaker. I think nah, you're yeah. fine, buddy man. Hey, you sure? Yeah, I'm you sure can. the gods would never be so cruel as to make you an oath breaker for yeah. no reason at all. Even paladins make mistakes, but the difference—the the difference of what makes a good. Paladin from a bad paladin or a good person from a bad person is whether or not you're willing to correct those mistakes. And whether you're you know, aware of them, says Ged through a full mouth of bread and fruit. That is also true, but still, my point stands. Yeah, the fact that you're aware of them shows you are eventually going to make progress, hopefully. I shrug. Fair enough. I don't, I don't have any paladins in my village, so I have no idea about that. Now well, Talik stands up with one fist over his chest and one fist behind him. Very well then. I say we take down the pass for a second try. Then Bundle looks to Rania. Rania looks to Bundle. He stares at him for a moment, looking into his eyes. And they speak into his mind. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right, Talik. All right. Ronnie speaks into his uh, head for a moment. Kiss Is this me. really important to you? Bundles just sa s says out loud, speak plainly. I hate secrets between friends. Ronnie shrugs. Ah, there are plenty of secrets that I have, but fair enough. Is this really important to you? Bundle nods. I finish what I start, period. When you think for a moment and nods, all right, we see it through then. Ranya shoves another fruit into his pack and uh, he, he uh, uh, starts gathering up his stuff. Well, still, we have to at least wait, like, what, two more days for Feliana to heal up at least? Of course. It's not like we're going to leave t tonight, he says as he finishes up another piece of fruit. All right. Yeah. Uh, in that case, let's just continue the grind and wait for her to heal up. And my player is going to suggest we uh, montage that. <laughs> Talik's going to uh, hold up his hand. And I'm going to see if this village has a doctor. I feel like I need to see one. Ged just looks around like, what the hell, man? <laughs> can, can you take a look at his head, please? Uh, actually, currently, Kira has Ged in a headlock. It's like, we're, we're going to Redport. This <laughs> <laughs> is reasonable. It's just a little dread grave. It's not that terrible. Ooh. They're going to Redport. <laughs> I think you're going to Redport. That or you can yeah, like a... I hate to break it to you again, but you're going to Redport. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it just feels like you're going to Redport. Talik so, being towards your bundle, and you see something in her because... Bundle punches Talik. Oh! <laughs> Dang! Shit! Roll the hit. <laughs> Don't you have a 
minus one strength. <laughs> I do. I don't know who would win in an arm wrestling match, Rania or Bundle. I'd have to get above a 21. Are you actively holding your shield when he throws this hit? I don't think he sees it coming, so no. So, yeah. minus the shield from that. That's okay, still an 18. No, that's... Roll the, the shield's plus three, Roll a strength it? check bundle. Uh, oh, you, can, you, you can... Uh, oh. <laughs> you aim too low and you hit him right in the chest. Like, psh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> like, the hell, man? Come on, I just ask. Huh, I did not think this through. <laughs> I have yeah, made also, a terrible uh, mistake. Talek, that shield's plus three to your AC, isn't it? Uh, let me uh, double take a look at it. Because if it's if it's plus three to your AC, then without it, your AC's 18, not 17. Uh, yes, yes, it's a plus three. I am sorry, I don't... Uh, it's fine, it's know. fine. You, you, were, you were accidentally nerfing yourself at all. <laughs> Yep, there's yeah, there's a puppy. Jesus Christ. Talent looks at Bundo. What what was the punch for? I just asked a simple question. I think I think we finally broke him. More like yeah, you asked a simple question with a complex answer, he says, gritting through teeth. So you do have a thing for her. Kira loosens a grip thing for who? Nothing! <laughs> Absolutely nothing. She's gonna roll deception. insight. Here we go, deception! Never mind. <laughs> what did she not, roll? Not bad, that's an 11, but yeah. What did Kira roll? She's like, she just looks at Bundle, looks at the sky, looks at the ground. I don't know. Okay, good. I don't have to tell a lie then, because it's a pal, a rabbit pal, they cannot lie. Uh, anyway. Difficult thing. Kira, can we borrow Ged for a second? Eh, I guess. Releases him, and it's like, <laughs> oh, be gentle <laughs> right. with me, please. Uh. So, have to pay for that. Ged. Hmm, yeah. Talek bashed his head on the bottom of a river and, uh, can you take a look at his head, please? Huh. Uh, okay, just, uh, let me, uh, put, puts on a thin little, like, set of, like, s half crescent moon spectacles, like, mm, da da da. It's, Talek looks at him. It's just that I've been losing, just like, all my personality's been sealed, or lost, or something. I don't know. Head injury. Okay, so that's a 19. Well, to use a head injury, to use a spiritual deal. Head shah, injuries shah, are shah, pretty shah, serious. Shah, 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 shah. He just <laughs> takes his head in your hand. He's like, yeah. hmm. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Hmm. Shut bink, <laughs> bink, bink. Ow. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, that is that is a that is a minor complex fracture. And you mutter, mm. at least he's not doing wrestling moves on uh, you. Hold on one second. And he starts digging in his like apron belt, like oh, no, 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 no. Pulls out like a like uh in a like the what looks like the the skeleton of an accordion, like a uh, like no. that thing's like no, don't need that. Uh, Pulls out hell, like man? just a long length of wire. No, where did I put that shot? Oh, there it is. And just pulls out this little dainty, uh, light red charm on like a little oh. length of black chain. It's like, aha. Uh -huh. And okay. he, uh, well, this be like some kind of little hammer. I was going to freak out. And he pulls out a uh, tiny little little orange box and pulls out a match he's like and he taps the charm with it and it immediately lights on fire he's like well uh, it's just a small fire like a candle like he's like all right now follow the light the tyler looks like the light all right and this all too well as i say this rhythmic chant your head will now begin to Dance, dun, 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 dun. 
Galaxy is what starts a wave with the charm. As you dance, you feel you dance too deep, then you will fall right asleep. Hey, that, that was quicker than I thought it would be. Excellent. Sweet trick. Okay. Um. Now, I will need... Where is that powder? No. No, I don't need the powder. I need the, uh... The glass. Uh, the glass, the glass, the glass, the glass. Aha! And he pulls out this little... This crystal that's, uh, in the shape of a square. Just a little, like... Almost like a... It looks like a picture frame. All these or a portrait frame, and he just fastens it to the top of Talek's head, and just like do 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 do. He takes out like a head brace and sticks it on Talek, and then sticks the portrait picture frame above him. He's like da da. All righty, now let's take a look, shall we? And he pe and he peers over, and just as crescent moon moon focals, and he's like, hmm. 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 I managed to damage the tonal lobe. Uh, but it doesn't seem too deep. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's. Ah. Oh, child's play. And he just quickly unfastens the head brace. It's like. Ah. Hmm. And he just peers inside the ear a little bit. Like takes the charm and puts it above a little bit. Ah, nah. <laughs> do we see? Uh, do we see a light coming out of the other end of the ear? No. That would be silly. <laughs> not how ears work. It's <laughs> definitely not how ears work. That there is something in the way there. Mm. It's not not just the brain <laughs> either. There's several things in the way. That's a joke. God, no! I really wish Punk, Talek, really wishes they did a slap Rania for that. <laughs> <coughs> but sadly, Talek's knocked out for a while. Yes, or at least for the uh, for the examination. So he he eventually unfastens the brace and pulls it out. I was like, okay, well, not too bad. Just a little bit interesting there. Um, so, oh, yeah, that's right. He clicks the charm like, you hear me now and raise your voice. Now you wake and thus rejoice. Wait, oh. what? Oh, what? What? That is a very neat trick. Hmm. Pockets the charm like, <laughs> ah, right, yes. I cannot be hypnotized to let you know. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Talek. What? How effective is that on much larger creatures? Eh, it depends on their constitution. But anyway, uh, yes, your your friend here did manage to damage himself in a vicious blow with what I would assume would be the bottom of a river. Uh, yeah. White uh, yep. gray shale. There's still a few particles left in there, I should say. Um, but it healed on top, so I'm not going to dig in there and pull them out. It's not like they're actually fucking the brain <laughs> tissue there. He now has a very decorative uh, inscription on his skull now, and uh... oh wait what? <laughs> so yes, um, he seemed to have damaged the. By way of God. He seemed to have damaged the one portion of his brain roll. which. Okay, should I stop freaking out right now? Nah. Uh, so basically, whenever your little. Uh, 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 Lapaforan friend here gets overstimulated or overtly stressed. Uh, he, uh, there's a chance he could uh, pop a vessel and uh, collapse into uh, like a little fugue state of sorts. Oh, so that's what that was about when we were in the underpass. Mm. Uh, oh, do I? That, like, man, I'm just out of curiosity. They're going to fix that. 
They're like God or, we can pray to maybe or... minute. You could pray maybe. to Golov. Start smiling. Huh? 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 When he looks at Talek. Yeah, uh, well, would that actually fix them? If you prayed mm. to Golov? Well, uh, you were just, uh, well, like we've I've shown you before, you need to have an offering of sorts, but yeah, you see, a steady, is... steady, steady set of prayer, uh, res a steady Might prayer to... ritual, and uh, perhaps a, a delicate offering of either a magical item or just a. Uh, Ronnie takes out the is... radiant thread again. Pledge wait. of. Will this work? Wait, 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 wait! Uh, For uh. crying out loud! Okay. Shoot. I forgot who go. I uh, uh Alakar. Who was Golov again? Golov nice. with the healing god. The healing god. Whoa. Huh. Okay. I'm guessing if you pray to him, you'll get a boost to your healing spells. I didn't say that. But, yeah, that's not how it works, Ranya. No. Oh, no. no. You don't hit a home run with Golov on the first date. <laughs> I mean, after a couple well, of, like, presents, maybe a nice dinner, I don't know. Um, is, is there a movie? Is there a not... Is there a way to possibly mitigate the effects of it without... That doesn't involve prayer? Well, I don't know. I guess I could put a good word in for him with you if you clear out that shrine but um uh no that's not what i meant i meant is there anything to make it less likely that I'll, this will happen like any pills or something you could take mm, i can give him a nice helmet sadly that's not a bad idea what Dash can sing is, is like any kind of potion. Or like mental exercises. I hate to tell it to you, little one, but there's no real easy way out of this. Um, you you kind of did what, some damage. What what Dash is asking, is there a way Talek could do something to at least give himself advantage on those rolls? Mm. That sounds I like don't know, um... But... A potion of calm emotions whenever you get into a heated situation, although I don't know if in battle that might help you. What about any mental exercises? Mental exercises. Hmm. Mm. hmm. Anya, Anya walks behind Talek and well, starts do you, do you, do you, do you practice transcendental meditation, perhaps? Well, there are... The, the, Hold on a second. Dang it, Rania. That's Rania. Stop, stop harassing the bunny for a second. I'm, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. I'm, try, I'm trying to relax. You, your help is very distracting. That's the problem. Okay. Rania mm -hmm. stops. Well, back in, back in when I was in Academy, I, we gone through a training of mental fitness. I tried doing that this morning, but my mind's just too clouded with so many thoughts. I believe that this concussion has really jogged with my mind. Hello? Hello. Okay. I just didn't know if they if I heard me or not. Yes, we did. Mm. Even Fel yeah. heard you, but, um... Puppies. Mm. Wait, wait. He's like, mm, I, I, I guess transcendental. Like, yeah, if your mind's that clouded, you might just, just try and try again. But otherwise, yes. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe a potion of calm emotions. But uh, you'd need to know a rather good apothecary to find one of those. Yeah, and that's. Or you'd need problem. to get lucky in a traveling magic caravan but I hear I hear rumors of some strict tariffs incoming from uh, Lord Hullhand of this of the northern counties anyway I'm not sure how it'll well, affect the ways down south around here 
Is there any way I could have any way Golith would be willing to bless a item that which will allow me to keep my mind steady until we can find the proper uh, help that I need? Well, there's some. Well, you kind of need a quid pro quo on that one, I'm afraid. Well, because I have a bronze brooch here that which, if I could offer Golith this brass mug, so. Uh, this brass mug with the silver lining as a tribute, you think he'll probably bl give this brooch a blessing? Hmm. I mean, I think this mug would do great as part of a gift basket, but not as necessarily as a single item. Hmm. Basically. Well, I think for now, until we actually get some better tribute fodder, for lack of a better term, Maybe that meditation will help you, Talek. What if I gave Golive a lot of good berries? I don't think that'd work on you. They are magical items. Of, speaking of food, uh, Talek would reach around and starts looking at the uh, dragon meat and gives it a whiff. What meat? Uh, oh, the God. Drake. The drake yeah. meat you've had for a month? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, that I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, that that just rancid. Ah, uh, <laughs> DM, how is this meat? Survival uh, check. Oh, I don't want to do it. Um, no, now it's the one smelling it. That's a nat twenty. Oh, wait, no, that was no, 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 my bad. No, no. Still, that's a nat twenty. Yeah. Dashkin, it looks fine. Oh. Talek, it looks fine. Asterisk. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so, Talek, you know how the food you get in a, uh, in, like, a children's playset of, like, a kitchen looks? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what it kind of looks like right now. It looks Ooh. like it's got a sheen over it oh no like like you know when you when you get the the little the little tykes playset and you pull out the the pizza that comes with it and it's hmm dm how does that yeah, look fine to you want to eat that yeah that 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 oh god that's beyond saving that then again this thing i do you save, that period. i mean it's not rotting asterisk Actually, I have a spell that can make that uh, better if, uh... Did you prepare it today? Uh, we should probably just cut our losses. I haven't prepared any spells yet. It's the morning. I think you don't, You need to prepare the spells first and foremost. Uh, I'll, I'll let him, if he wants to take a minute, uh, he can prepare spells right now if he wants. Well, okay. I can't uh, prepare detect poison and disease, but I doubt that would work on this piece of meat. <laughs> Mm, oh, uh, I can food and drink. Yeah, there I got go. that. Oh shit! Go for it. Or do you uh, do you want me to do that? Oh no. You... Well, I only got four uses. If we're not right. going anywhere, so you're gonna use that spell? Yes, I will. I will. Detect so... evil and good. <laughs> oh shoot. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> what is this meat's alignment? <laughs> yes, tell me, meat. Are you good or evil? What That's kind of taste does this meat have? Uh, no, wait. The way how it looks, it's evil because it is bad meat. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, do you cast that um, purify spell? Yes, I do. All right, and as you do, the sheen lessens. You should probably cook that now before that spell wears off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, up to ten. Wait. What? Give me a second. Oh yeah. If any of us have bad food, if we're close to him, it's here now. Oh, cool. Ooh, my survival's not. Looking no, no. Good. Roll with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Oh, okay. Do it. So roll again. You didn't even ask me. You just did it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. That would probably be the 19, but that's yes. still a high roll. Okay. Not the, For the next 24 hours, you advantage in all con checks. Ooh. Hey! Hey! 
<laughs> so if we eat this meat now, oh, so I'm good then. I I will be okay with Constitution. You have you advantage. Oh. Tyler, like, hey, uh, anybody want to share some drink meat with me? I'm good. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dash. Sorry. So, so, oh man, I feel bad now. Would would that be drinks are dragon can are they? I mean, yes, they're related they to dragons, but they're not quite dragon kin. Well, the way how I see it, drakes are less a form of dragons. For dragons are, dragons have four limbs and wings, while drakes only have legs and wings. I'll play it safe. I'll play it safe. I'm sorry. But do dragons eat other dragons? Yes. So uh, do I know that? Can yes. I roll intelligence for that? Oh yeah, you. You know, you've heard of some instances where dragons, upon winning territorial battles, will eat the other dragon. Yes, and in case if they are starving too, they will eat, eat, eat their own kin too. In case if it's survival of the the chaotics, and... the chaotics and evil ones more likely will do that. Yeah, but the... yeah, it, it has been recorded. Yeah, the, the the chaotic dragons are the evil dragons are the ones who are prone to doing that. Generally, not the good and metallics. Yeah, mm. you're too you're too much of a big softy, really. I am a chromatic dragonborn, my good friend. Well, I am yes. seen as evil. I am seen as evil as all hells in the eyes of metallics. Ah, uh, bullshit! The way how I see you, you're just a big, big, big galoot that knows how to throw a punch. I'll take some magic you if you're off. You haven't met a metallic dragonborn yet. Was it Draroth and metallic? No, he was a chromatic. Oh, I've right. yet to see a I've yet to see a metallic dragon one since I came to this country. Do they exist? Oh, uh, probably in Redport. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they exist. What kind of tribe <laughs> okay. do you think I'm from? Okay, right? Brett has an idea. Brett, what shrugs? is it? What What's going on? I hear laughter. No, I'm just laughing to the in result of the conversation. Like. I mean, uh, I haven't seen a Samoan, so I assume they exist. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get to eating. We gotta eat this meat for a gold. Yeah. Bag. I'm gonna say Dash legitimately hasn't run in, in, into any metallic dragonborn since he's come to mm. uh, whatever this country's name is again. Red Cray. Run his down with Talek and, uh, and enjoy some dragon meat with him. I'll eat too. Uh, should we go ahead and montage to I montage a couple days? Sure. Fifth, but sure, why not? Oh, well, yeah, get the... How about this? Whoever wants to do something before the montage, roll. Mm. Roll a straight d20, if that's all right, DM. Or who wants to do... Yeah. Yeah, j just so we don't have people talking over each other. Tyler, okay. is, well, I have to get Tyler gets any drink me. He's going to sit back on the rock again and try to refocus his thoughts. Do okay. I get advantage on um, um, uh, on? Uh, no, uh, the, the, the straight the straight roll is just. A Why would you advantage, Ryan? Yes. No, uh, like after consuming the Drake meat, do, do I get advantage on uh, Constitution checks? Oh, now? you don't know. Oh, I'm okay. just surprised. Meta gaming. Okay. Okay, so, so you, did, you did you did see Dash turn it down like oh, oh no thanks. Mm -hmm. Again, sorry Dash, I did not mean to sound so. Uh, oh, what's the nah, I'm full on fruit anyway. Don't 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 worry about it. Hey, Rania, then bundle. Okay, um, Rania is going to uh, not coming up from behind her, uh, just like. Uh, uh, Moving in direct line of sight of Belxis. Uh, what about Fel? Uh, yeah, actually, Fel, are you still here? Fel? Demon lady? We have not heard from Fel in an eon. Yeah, her mic's been muted this whole time. Yeah, Shit, my mic's been muted this whole time! <laughs> <laughs> have you been oh, saying <laughs> Eliana, have you been saying anything this whole time? Yes, I have, actually! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna say let's give Feliana the first, the uh, first turn after all that. You done screwed up, team. So Feliana, then Rania, then Bundle. No, okay. there's something I want to do. I'm cool. 
Oh, poor Fabio. Okay. So, anyway, it was Rania to do fluff. To do your fluff. Okay. Rania uh, slowly approaches Belxis. Um, uh, kind of. Um, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. She's okay. Hold on. Okay, now I think we're good. Sorry, I was waiting to see when GM had stream back up. Hmm. Run your waves, belt, sis. Hello. How are you doing? <sighs> Gives you a wary eye. It's like... I see you've been uh, using the salve. It looks a little bit better than yesterday, at the very least. Mm -hmm. I am really sorry that that happened to you, and uh, I hope that uh, uh, that heals up somewhat. I do not think... I can only hope that uh, it heals up completely. <sighs> um, but I just hope um, uh, that I can... Uh, other than uh, just giving you the salve. If there is um, any way to uh, make it up to you, I hope you will uh, you will tell me instead of feeding on the Catman. Anything. Anything else? Mm, let's come and check how you are. How you doing? Uh, if there's anything I can get you, if you want any fruit. Um, how you felt about uh, us going back into the underpass, possibly? glances toward, toward the group in the background glances back towards you I will consider it with perhaps an added incentive run the nods okay. <laughs> she's, she's kind of earned it yeah. after the shit we put her through yeah oh, Talek would be pretty upset that she wants more higher pay and more of the trust that we find, but... She took her greatsword to the face, that's understandable. Yeah, yeah, even he would understand, because he got almost left <sighs> here cut off by a damn bandit. Anyway. Nods, I'm pretty sure that we can arrange for you to be suitably uh, uh, compensated for your time and your pain. Well, if not your pain, your time at the least. Good. Ranya offers her a fruit. Opens her coat. She has five. Oh, oh. shit. Yeah. Ranya opens his pack. He has four. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's competition. <laughs> I'm, I'm down surprised Brania just it. didn't flash her. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a leader thing. It's not the mating season for the Rania. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and hopefully it never is. <laughs> no, no. The mating season for the Rania is in the winter. Oh, God. Of course, it's the inside. It's to, uh, it's to maintain warmth. Is that all is that all your fluff on you or Yeah I oh wait, I wanted to talk to uh, Ged too about his god. I was gonna mm. say, what what didn't Fells have an up to you for fluff? Oh uh mm. no I'm good. Okay. Rania uh, toddles over to uh to Ged and um uh, sits down in front of you. So, about your this god of yours. He's picking string out of his teeth. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me more about him? Like, uh, he's a god of healing, correct? Ding. Of, uh... 
Yes. Can you tell me more about your Lord and Savior? Yes. Tell me more of your Lord and Savior. <laughs> can you tell me? Uh, uh, can you tell me about his pantheon? Like uh, who? Good way. He actually accepted kind the of, uh, What kind of uh, uh, God in general is he? Like he he's, uh, does healing, so he has to be a pretty pretty good guy, right? Well, uh, he he sticks to uh, the the lawful types, I should say. Uh, although he tries to remain neutral whenever he can, he's very um. How should I put it? Uh, he while he is associated with radiance, he isn't actually powerful in that way. It's just sort of the way the. Art artisans have portrayed him over the years, and well, actually, that radiant thread is a very curious thing. You, I so I noticed you pulled that out earlier, and that once was associated with him, but then it was dis dispelled a while ago, and it actually relates to this other sprite who actually coerced a different god into creating it for sake of all sorts of immoral hootenanny and it just it got very complicated but anyway yes uh go live uh Which as we mentioned before he does not really take into the material things aside from magic and feats of magic and feats of <clears throat> and feats of healing and feats of so the material instinct. is not um so much his interest it's more devotion and actual power symbols of people's either faith or effort in the making. Yes, faith and effort are really, really powerful to him. Uh, a, a plenty of other um, <clears throat> uh, religions uh, ask for the donations in the form of material wealth, but uh, a Golov actually prefers to uh, actually see, a, a, to uh, a lead by example, t to steal a phrase. Runyon nods, and um, he kind of like fingers his... Uh coyote necklace. I suppose I can understand that. Yes. I have a few. Um, uh, I have a... Uh, my people have a pantheon of their own, but or rather had. I wonder sometimes if they've abandoned my people because of how they have uh, they've wandered away from their faith of late. Oh, where do you hail from, Ghostwise? Mm, uh, I, uh... That's a good question. I do not know where my home is from where I am now. It's undoubtedly far away, but, uh, yes, I am of the Ghostwise. What do you know of my... Do you know of my people? Mm hmm. I've, I've seen your, uh... Your... Uh, forgive the term type around in my many mm. travels throughout the land and uh, I remember mm. some of them hailing from the south uh, just, uh, but they were from below the deserto oh uh, well I did see one or two in the swamplands as well so run to blinks so there are more of us out there oh yes yes uh, I think there also might be some in the canyons to the far east Rania stares for a moment, uh, looking kind of rocked by this information. There are more out there. Well, your rest your rest would be to the south and probably to the southeast. Uh, mm. Mm, too Rania stringy. Stares. Rania stands up and uh, looks at Golov. Are you any dead? Uh, dead. And he speaks into his mind with his silent speech. Are you absolutely sure? Good smiles. Mm hmm. One new thing. Mm hmm. He taps his forehead as he look, uh, looks at uh, uh, Ged. How do you spell Golov's name, by the way? So that's unnatural 20. Uh, modified and, he, and he's the yeah, god of healing 20. yes 
What do I see from this man? Uh, you can read that he's pretty sure he saw uh, ghost flies to this to in his travels. Ooh. He said to the south and in the swamp. The he said you spot. On... He said you met one in the swamp, uh, but he remembers seeing a dwelling in the southeast, specifically in the in the massive canyon that borders all of Red Cray. Massive canyon, Red Cray. Red Cray, or Red Cray. Red Cray. Red, red, red Cray. Red, red Cray. Oh, okay. He's a map oh, map swamp. Oh, okay. Oh, um. Mm, uh, so like uh, this Joan direction, mm, or oh there, Jesus! Oh, that's gonna take a while. Wait, oh that's the canyon. Yep. Oh, we're not going there anytime soon. Wait, no. Where are we? Okay. We're we're end. looking at we're, we're at look the X. We're right here, buddy. Yeah, no, we're, we're looking at the really big map now. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so uh, yeah, there uh, um, apparently Rania's undiscovered people is down there. And you said that uh, he, he's seen one over in the swamp over here? Yeah, he said he met one while traversing the swamp, but specifically towards the south end of the swamp. And Dash's people are around here, you last told me, right? Yeah, you were like, you're like right up here by the road. You're on the border. Yeah, they were there. <laughs> If there's any survivors, Dash okay, doesn't this know. Is, uh, this is where Dash's people were, and now he... people are over here? No, or he's... Here? No, he was born here. Oh, yeah. He was born here, and, and uh, his people are over here now. No, his people are basically wiped out. There's probably some survivors, but his tribe is effectively uh, dead. Mm. Okay. Hmm, well... Rania thought that his people were only in one place, and he thought that his tribe was in near extinction. This, uh... Rania now has a new quest line. Hey! That he may or may not ever be able to get to, considering that it's beyond this bullshit down here, which apparently we will be dunion rings if we go into, so... Well, no, there's also this now. narrow pass. Yeah. Uh, Either way, that that <laughs> trek is so long, I think that would take several sessions just to get to. That is true. Well, it okay. takes several sessions to get to where Dash used to live. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, Alex raising his hand. Okay. Uh, uh, what's up now? Twice. Okay. Um, uh, Rania uh, seems to be a little bit shaken by this uh, new bit of information, but he, like, you know, shakes his head quickly and uh, looks at Gev. Okay. This is uh, a bit of new information to me, but thank you very much for giving it to me. It's very enlightening to know that there is more of us out there than, than from uh, the Churl Woods. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go investigate that eventually. Or what I hear, Zerto is not a place to trifle with this time. Maybe a little down the lines. But Ronya looks over to uh, the east. You did say that uh, that in the the marshes uh, there is one of my kind. Well, it was there when I was traveling through there about a about a decade ago. Okay. Run your nods. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the information. Um, think for a moment. I don't really have anything to uh, offer you, um, uh, or your God at the moment. But other than my thanks. Uh, so, thank you for the Always glad to educate someone on Golive. Mm. is a great god indeed. Do anyway. Gods, do gods interfere in other gods' pantheons at all? Mm, depends if they want a holy war or not that week. 
Mm. What if it's to assist another pantheon? Mm, that's rare. Very rare. Mm, it, it, it has happened before, but it was a, not very often in the documented times. Maybe something to keep in mind, but for now, I think I'm good. Uh, he nods. Thank you. Okay, I'm uh, done. Hi. Came up with a name for my tribe. Mm. Huh. What is it? I, I will go ahead and whisper it to Brett for now. Mm -hmm. Hooray. Uh, so, <laughs> I believe next up in the order was either Fell or Bundle. Bundle, it could go. Okay. Go. I know, Talik, but you had a bit of fluff before, and now we're moving on in the order that we prescribed before the, before the break. Right. So, <laughs> Bundle. All right. Well, Bundle's going to try try to get Kira's attention while they're there, maybe a day after the whole meeting of what they're going to do. Okay. To figure out why she was why she why she's so afraid to go to Dreadgrave, and why she really wants to go to Redport. He has a reason for going to Redport himself. <laughs> Let's just see how that goes. Okay. So yeah, you... you uh, she's just sit off sitting by the stream again. Just This time got herself a fishing pole. And just... It's <laughs> like, oh, you're back. Now what? Not to make fun of you, unless I get the death gaze again. Rolls her eyes. Uh... I guess I'm more curious about something. You want to why? know I'm not, why I don't want to go north. Well, that's half of it. <laughs> Have you been helped? <laughs> Right then. That cat has some real good <laughs> Damn oh, cat. Uh, <laughs> too many kittens. But Bundle says uh, that's half of it. I do want to know why. And the other half is. Sorry, go ahead. Have you ever seen a dead body? Uh, yeah, I've made a few. Have you seen one that wouldn't stay dead? Yes. <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> My shield is made out of one. Wait, are you there? No, no. I was saying that out of character. Oh. <laughs> but Bundle says, yeah, I've had to deal with skeletons that don't want to die. <laughs> There are also the sea spawn. And the sea spawn. So, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, yes. I do not do those. Because. I was locked in a crypt once. Sounds rather traumatic. And that's nice. Lord Dreadgrave decided to go for a little walk and raise a few new servants out of the crypt I was locked in. So this was this is going to be a, a fun story, says Bundle as he sits beside her. That's really it. That's all she says. Like, mm -mm. nope, nope. Did they attack you? And He'd that's why I'm not going him. north. No. I'm not going to the place named after him. He really did a thumber on you, didn't he? Well, 
Well, I suppose I shouldn't cry. I gave you enough guff or, uh, the other day. But what's in Redport for you? Like I said, coin. Oh, come on. It can't be just about the money. I like the atmosphere. Granted, I haven't graduated above the medium medium entertainment the I haven't graduated against the, uh, beyond the lower entertainment district yet but eventually I'll get into the higher echelons and eventually maybe into the one of the circuses oh really you want to join the circus is it bundle actually is rather intrigued hmm. has a humongous smile on his face in fact ears perked up as well yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I was actually in the circus for a number of years, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, unlicensed play fighting can only get a can only get a girl so far. What? I know a little thing or two as he attempts to juggle something. Hang on. <laughs> Attempt to juggle Kira, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs>was attempting to show off his circle circus skills to Kira and rolled a natural one on his sleight of hand. Thank you. Man. What were you trying to juggle again, Bundle? Crocodile teeth. No, crocodile teeth. Croc the crocodile teeth. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I'm ah. stick the shark. Well, he throws a couple in the air. He gets it right for like two throws, but then one of them, he mishandles and it just flies straight in the air and just goes straight down his gullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's not going to be pleasant later. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Having a concussion is not that bad now. We're going to hear some We're going to hear some horrible noise in the bushes. Here here just sarcastically <laughs> and, and Bundle just tries to hack up the freaking croc teeth he just can save. Oh, oh shit. Ranya, uh, Ranya comes up behind him like No, Ranya, no, no medicating. Okay. This, this okay. is not your fluff. You already uh, had your turn. I uh, Okay, okay. That's terrible. Not bad. All right. Now it's stuck. Now it's stuck in your trachea. Oh, oh, oh no. God! Now he can't breathe. Oh no! Bet you wish Ryan was there flow. now, don't you? Okay, that hurts. That's a lot of pain. Uh, okay. <coughs> Would it be okay if Talik gets up, walks over to Bundle, and slaps him on the back? No, That's let him have his yeah. moment. Hmm. We didn't interrupt Talek's moment. Let Bundle have his moment. Okay. I mean, Rania's moment. My bad. There you go, little turtle. Good going, Ringmaster. Yeah. Anywho, he's, he tries to save face by saying, well, I was better back when I was a lot younger and smaller. I, I thought you were about to have him say da, da. Let him have his moment. Uh-huh. Fuck, and I don't even know what I was going to say now. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, fuck it. I can't think of what I was going to say. Get Move on. Oh. Uh, Damn it, Tash again. <sighs>
Mm-hmm. We're all tempted to uh, disconnect now. Oh. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. So, um... Well, Kira's busy trying to dislodge the tooth from his trachea. <laughs> yeah? Kira's trying to help him? Yeah, um, but we're going to transition to someone else's fluff. Yay! <laughs> did anyone else have any fluff? I did. Fluff, and there was a Feliana fluff. Uh... Uh, fell, uh, fell, uh, she, she can, like, how can I say this? Mm. Dur- during their often falls, uh, falls gonna look at Dash. Hey, Dash, I have a question. Mm. What's up? Now that, like, now that you know how I got my scars, would you, would you mind telling me how you got yours? You know the... Yeah, that's... If you, don't, if you don't want to, it's okay. No, no, that it's only fair. You shared your story. It's only fair. I, I share the rest of mine. That's probably a less complex. You know that Tiamat's chosen had kidnapped all the youths, me included, right? Yes, yes, I, I, I remember that. For a while, some of us, myself included, tried to resist when tried to resist and escape when they held us captive. However, as days went by and some of us started getting beaten to death, because those of us who resisted were beaten severely. A lot of us, yeah. I'm, yeah, her eyes go wide, like, what? <laughs> yeah, those of us who resisted uh, were beaten for our, as they put it, our insolence or insubordination. But eventually, my, everyone's wills, my sister included, uh, they, started, they started breaking, but I was the only... After a couple of months, I was the only one still actively resisting until they took me to be executed. My God. It drove me to keep trying to fight, but... Yeah, I... That's about... That's really it, um... They just kept beating me and, until I was saved, so. I was going to try your best to, like, go over to Dash again and give him a hug. <laughs> Aw. Because she's sad now. She wants to give him a hug. You do it. He returns yeah. the hug. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that she has a good turn. Say again. I, I'm sorry that you had to go. Uh, that you had to go through that. I'm sorry you had to go through what you went through as well. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this is why I felt such kinship with you, aside from the fact we've known each other since children. <laughs> that would like do it. Twin, you're like the non-dragonborn twin sister I never had. You're like the. Non tiefling brother, I've never had. <laughs> Dash would just chuckle at that. <laughs> Bell would also laugh. Like, <laughs> mm. uh, oh, thanks for telling Dash. That wasn't easy. It never is, but yeah. the. Keeping it secret forever isn't doing either of us any favors anyway, so. This is true. It never does. All I know is one day I will manage to save the Mithridil. You will what? 
He said he will manage to one day save the Vithkratil. Oh, the Vithkratil, sorry. Sorry, Vithkratil. Holy shit, even I can't pronounce it, I made it. Vithkratil. Yes. (laughs) Vithkratil, okay. I'm hoping one day. Go ahead. And I'm gonna, uh, and I wanna help you. Where's my dash? And now I'll help you find your brother and sister as well. Thank you. Okay, I think that's the end. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, did anyone else have anything before we cut back to bundle? <laughs> I can't know what's happening. Did you have anything, Talek? Nope. Hmm? All right. Uh, are we going back to bundle then? Meanwhile, back at the rat. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the hull of bundle. Yeah, she, after like three or four good slaps on your back, she eventually knocks uh, the tooth loose and you just cough it up. It's it's a bit bloody and bile-y, but it's, but it's out. Uh, not my uh, finest moment. <laughs> you try too hard. Hmm. Uh... More like uh, some people just don't try hard enough, he says as he tosses the, he grabs the the, the croc tooth and just chucks it into the river, looking frustrated. Eh. Sometimes you just gotta take it easy. The kipper's now no Just one. grab a pole and just relax and wait for life to nudge you. You seem like the type who actively goes seeks the the nudge. I guess having been cooped up in a jungle, having to constantly be babied by everybody because I was the only male around, so playing dress up all the goddamn time gets you a little antsy. He says as he he's now he he's looking well. He's venting, pretty much. That and I feel like I've failed my party in more ways than one. And if I don't start getting my shit together, then someone's going to end up dead. Got a bit of a weight on you. What happens when you're the only fucking kid left after every all every single one of your brothers ends up on someone else's chopping block and you can't even get back at the guy because he's already five six feet under she smiles and just waves you over to sit next to her on, on the fit on like the little fishing uh dry dock hmm. What? Planning on on uh, getting me back for the comments earlier? I already said I was sorry. No, I'm just gonna teach you to learn to, to take it easy. Oh. He raises a brow <clears throat> and sits beside her. Hands you the pole. Oh. So, how many are we catching? Hmm. It's just. Sit here. See where it takes us. Right now I'm imagining her just behind his back, like, from the scene Ghost. Uh... So he, he grabs the pole, looking No, like... it's really like the scene from Gumpy Old and they're just both sitting next to each other on the bench. Oh. Uh, he, he grabs the pole, intent on catching a fish. Seeing as how, to him, he's been given an objective. But, I guess... She flicks your hand. Mm -mm, Not so tight. He he looks at the grip that he had, 
loosens it up a little bit and tries to relax, but he's darting his eyes all everywhere looking for fish. Yeah, this is going to be a long one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you've got to get a little bit of work done on you, I see. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> When's the last time you loosened up? <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's think things for a moment, and he's like, I don't know. You're tense as that ball of string that your buddy carries around. Can't really help it. I've always been on edge for as long as I can remember. The only time I ever actually got to relax was when I was risking my life in the circus. If you could call that relaxing. She kind of whips you across the back of the head with her tail. Like, come on. Lighten up. All right. This time, he takes a deep breath in, deep breath out, closes his eyes, thinks and concentrates on just trying to pretty much just Just let move go. with the river. Let your mind just find a rhythm. Right. So, if I had to roll with this, what would it be to roll to relax, I suppose? <laughs> roll to relax! <laughs> Con. Con. Right. Check or save. Check. <laughs> oh, no. Is that a net one? one that's a six. He has a, that's, a, that's a seven, actually. <laughs> I should. <laughs> but, yeah. She just shakes her head like, I... I All right, know. you're going to scare away the fish. Give me, give me that. Okay. He pans her back the the rod. No. Gonna teach you a neat little trick. It's not all about breathing. It's not all about what you see. It's all about what you feel. So if you grip too tight, you're gonna constrict your blood vessels. And you're not gonna be able to feel that well. But if you keep a dainty little grip right here clutching a baby or perhaps a small bird that you don't want to eat that's what you gotta gotta kind of do with it and just just keep a little rhythm like that let, let your pole and the string move a little bit don't be intent on anchoring it you've got to anchor yourself but keep yourself loose are you hearing what I'm saying out of character. But yes, and Bundle nods, feeling like he gets what she's trying to get the pass on to him. But he knows that he doesn't have the best. Are you picking up? She's putting down. Dalek. She picked. I just turned him down. But he's just says I I'll I suppose I can follow as best as I can. Offers the pull. He grabs it again and this time he doesn't have a grip on it, but he knows he's going to fidget. So instead of having a grip on the pole like uh, with both hands uh, fairly firm on it. He's going to have one hand firm and the other hand kind of tapping along the side of the pole to keep, to, I guess, distract him from being so rigid about holding on to it. All right. As you're doing this, she reaches a hand over to the, to the middle of your back and it traces a line from, like, top of your kidney to the top of your other kidney. And immediately you just feel this cooling sensation. Just as if she just lessened some of the blood pressure of your constriction. 
Yeah, what was, what was that? Relax. Relax. All right, the tapping stops, and he's holding onto the pole now. All right. Breathe and just let yourself sink into the rhythm. Sink in to the rhythm. All right. He breathes in, breathes out. Tries to take in the surroundings around him, but not to the point where it's hypersensitive. Just slowly easing himself into it. Con advantage. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Con advantage. Advantage though. Still a third. It was. It was literally the same roll in reverse. Feels better than it was before. Eventually, you do get a bite. Oh. But instinctively, once it bites, you grip it again, and uh, eventually, after about five seconds, the the, pill, the pole goes still again. I guess I just don't have any calm in me. She just slaps your shoulder like, ah, you're giving up too easily. <clears throat> it's, just, it's just something I gotta work on. Otherwise... I'm probably going to snap one day. But he offers... Sorry, go ahead. I don't know what it is you need. Only you can answer that for yourself. I'm just a traveling monk. There's happens to no pressure points. You can see that you're, you're wound up tighter than an evening sausage. <laughs> Bundle just chuckles and says, I know what I need. And I don't have near enough booze, gold, and time to have that happen. Hmm. Alright, so give me the pull before you break it, before you snap it in half. Yeah, hands it back. And as you do, she just lowers her toes into the water and just taps and taps, just slowly sinks into a rhythm of sorrow. She's kind of just, she's almost like in a, in a rapid eye movement type of trance when it comes to just sitting there with the pole in between like her arms. Like she like wraps her arms like crisscross around the pole and holds it that way. Hmm. And she just almost settles into a, a, a cat nap for lack of a better term. <laughs> Until after about five minutes, the, there's a tug on the pole. She opens one eye. Like, just finagles her arms around where it's just in the, in the corner of one of her arms. Waits for a while more. Pulls again. She's like, hmm. Smiles. And using her pinky, she starts slowly twirling the string. Like, winding it around her, her, her claw. And... Eventually, after about a minute of this, it pulls again, and she waits a couple seconds, and then gives it a hearty pull, and out comes this fat little trout. What would I roll to have investigated and seen all of that detail by detail? I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Because well, this is a lesson. Okay. Well, Bundle watches this and is impressed. Very impressed. Typically, he would have just dove into the to the river to just chase after one of them or shot one with his bow. But at this, he's like, "That's a pretty big fish." Yeah, it's about the size of like a. Uh... An entire lower arm from like middle finger to elbow. It's like, hmm. yeah, patience, rhythm. 
relax. I, uh, I'll try and take this to heart. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Now get out of here before you scare the fish. Oh. Right, right, right. He says as he gets back up. Oh, and, uh, just tell, just, uh, contact the druid in case you, when it, you, whenever you want to cash in on those favors, I'm sure he'll send the animal your way. And if that's... Are you referring to Rania or Morgren? He's referring to Rania. Okay. So you want her to contact him before yep. you leave or when she wants to cash in the favor? When she wants to cash in the favor, have her con have her contact on him. Ow. Well, don't you have animal messenger or something? It's not a two-way message. Like, oh. I can send it out. Damn. Like, uh, I, I'm sure that she, but if she found a... Jewish, well, you, you, could, you could tell her you're waiting at a place for her. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. Out of character, where do we? What are we doing after we get done with the underpass and do the veil to keep thing? I don't know. It's up to you. You guys could head up to Redport. You guys could head north. You guys could head south. Well, Dashkin. Uh, I, I mean, Dashkin. Dashkin seems to have intents on going to Redport and seeking out Tiamat's chosen. Yeah, he he was hoping to do that after the veil to keep. Cool. Anybody opposed to that? Not opposed. Well, don't forget, we still got, when we had time, we got to go back to the underpass and farm that iron thing. That sure, we, we can do that on our way out. Yeah, well, yeah. that's going to be there, so we're going to do that. I'm saying, like, after we get out of the out underpass and get done with that, where do you want to go next? Yeah, after the veiled key. Marty is currently staring uh, east. To, yeah, to Trut. <laughs> no, he's staring east to the. Tr he's staring east to the swamp. All right, I need to take a quick five minute bio break. All right, okay. and then after we're back, we'll go ahead and uh, montage our way to the underpass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. I'll try and wrap this All up right, we got within thirty forty five. Anyway, so... we're back here. So the. Dawn rises. Afel's still a little uh, lopsided when it comes to handling on her crutches, since her she's she. I'm gonna say she's still kind of paranoid because now it's sort of sitting in that I'm fragile. Hey. <laughs> Dash will look to Fel and say, "Need a lift?" Yeah, I could probably use one. He'll go ahead and walk on over and kneel down so he can pick her up and piggyback her. Yeah. Are we going to put her back into the cart? Oh, yeah. You know, if you two were probably the same type of uh, race, you make a cute couple. I'm pretty if sure. If you are like a sister, Talek, that's gross. Yeah, he's my brother. He's technically non biological brother. I mean, exactly. Talek is a farmer, and that stuff All is... All good relationships all time a sibling type of deal, and as you grow up, you realize something is different. This is if I wasn't strangely holding close Feliata to Kori Kaze right. territory. If I wasn't holding Feliata right now, I would punch you, Talek. Good luck with that big guy. Matter of fact, Dash is gonna try to swing around and smack Talek with his tail. Do okay. I roll anything? Do it. <laughs> strength check. I need humming the Game of Thrones. Come game. on, that twenty. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whack. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't do damage. It's just a whack. Athletics. No. Nope. Nope. I it's still have you. How? I have a. I, dude, remember? I have a trauma on my head. Maybe you should. Study. Then choose your words wisely. <laughs> Okay, then how about this, y'all lizard brain? I, I, as the player, did not um, hear that. Say again. Okay, simple thing. You're a lizard brain. How you like that? 
as, as long as, as nah, let's just fucking let's get moving. I was about to use vicious mockery, but like, should I? Should I? I? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, you people I thought we talked about infighting among the party. Yeah. <sighs> So, it's not in fighting, it's just sibling Andrew. rivalry. All right. We're not siblings. So, <laughs> so assuming we're going to be taking the cart, Dash will go ahead and carry Feliano over to the cart. I guess I turn into a horse again. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to make the poison one more time. Okay. okay. Really quickly, this is after the montage of Feliano's healing, right? Yeah, that's a much better yeah. roll. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, you get a. Okay. You make two more two poison arrows out of it. All right. You finally nice. figure out how to get the powder coating just right. And you, it takes you a couple tries to actually make it sure it sticks to the arrowhead. Because you tried shooting one of them, and the. And it's just. Stayed in the air after you launched the arrow, like a like the cartoon outline. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, huh. You forgot to fix that. All right. Now I'm um, sufficiently armed, I'm ready for bold crap in the in, under there. He's gonna go ahead and make sure that all of our stuff's packed away, and make sure we're not leaving anything that would be important. I can prepare up to, up to how many spells again? Eight? Mm. Schmidt. Uh, yeah. Crap. You need to write this down at some point. I am, uh, Brett said that he'd uh, put in uh, stuff into roll 20 for me, but uh, I guess he'd been oh, done yeah. with it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Hey, guys? Yeah? Um, okay. My wrath, Wrathful Smite, Thunderous Smite, and Searing Smite, I am my uh, move. Uh, 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 move list? Ah. Move list. Do I have to have them selected here in the spells? Um, in my spells, too? Are they spells? I really don't know exactly. Let's see, for level one spells, I'd probably have... You can prepare wounds. up to eight yeah. spells. Okay, cool. So I'm going to prepare... Uh, uh, so two of the level three, three of the level two... Oh, Meow. <laughs> so I can do three of the level ones now. Okay, so I uh, pre prepare uh, two of the healing words and one cure. That, uh... That, damn it. And, yes, uh... that looks like it's a spell. So I think you do need to have it in your spell list. And I'm going to prepare, uh, Vine Trap, seems pretty useful. And, uh, well, do you guys remember if it was dark down there? Yeah, but there were glowing, there was, like, glowing mushrooms. Ah, uh, yes, so, uh, we could at least, okay, uh, so I don't need to prepare, uh, dark vision. Nah, worst okay. comes worse, we have torches. Okay. So I'm going to prepare a uh, fine trap, uh, heat metal. Should I prepare moonbeam? Moonbeam might be useful. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, moonbeam and... and um, I've never used flame spear yet. Da, da, da. Move around. It's basically a bomb. Charity. Yeah, sure. Flame sphere. That is. Sorry, I'm and for oh, level, th 
Uh, for level three, I'll have, uh, uh, let's see, call lightning would be useless down there. Let's do uh, dispel magic and meld into stone. There we dispel go. Dispel magic sounds like it would be real useful. Yeah. 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 Kind of uh, situational, but if that's a, if that situation <laughs> comes up, that's a real good spell. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, so I pretty much have my lineup. Uh, get rid of this call lightning. Crazy. Alrighty. And Water. as for me, I'm going to have myself prep with bless, shield of faith, cure of wounds, and thunderous smite. Or should I switch thunderous out for wrathful? We're going to be underground. And we don't want to alert anybody in front of us. So I would say as the... Wrathful, yeah. Anything that makes noise is a bad idea. Mm. Or at least that much noise. That 300 feet of noise. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And as a uh, circle of plan druid, I also one. have a couple of free spells at my hand that I don't need to prepare at all. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you, your lineup is good. I'd just say swap out Thunder Smite for Wrathful Smite, because that noise... Whoop. Say again? That's why I done. Yeah. I have myself set up with Bless, so that way I can bless, any, bless you guys. Oh, um, damn. I keep forgetting that I also right. have access to... Uh, uh, the, the, to the um, uh, uh, to the other wizard spells that uh, uh, that circle of the land to get. Maybe I should take uh, haste instead. Uh, let's try not to have this take too long. If that's all right. Cure wounds and wrathful smite. That's one. Nothing. Uh, Nothing faster than a haste and dash again. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, uh, no, I was. He, he said he. Oh, said, oh, I thought you. Yeah. I thought you were saying that I was like rushing them. My bad. No, no, no. No, I, it was. It was I the missed, haste thing. It took me a bit to realize you said haste. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm good. Alrighty. But yeah, I also have in reserve my horse and spike growth, fleet storm and slow. Alright, I'll, I'll try and see if I can alter your sheet later. If need be. On the road again. Actually, Dash is gonna... Dash is gonna look around for both Hygric and Belxis. Yeah. Do I roll perception, or are they there? Uh, Hygric is preparing his load. He's just... And Balthus? She said that she might be persuaded. Uh, he, uh, Rania uh, talked to party. Balthus said that she might be persuaded if she's uh, further compensated for her troubles. The fuck? She got, like, beat in my ass. <laughs> she also got a... Enough. <laughs> she also got a great sword to the face. I got an earth mod to my leg. Well, talk to her about well, it. Well, if she doesn't want to come with us, that's her choice. Pretty much. Frickin' talk to her, the blue meat yeah. hurt, damn it. We look, goes the ghost, try and find her. Damn it, why is it so hard for us to prepare for a journey? You tell me. No, what? I'm the three foot. I'm the three foot nine rabbit. No, because I, I literally don't know. So you, you tell me. <laughs> I wish I can. I just can't. Does any of one of us have advantage on not a uh, proficiency in perception? Uh, I do. Yeah. I'm gonna have to learn that from you at some point. That or train it with bundle by playing hide and seek with him. I got proficiency yeah. and perception too. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have perception. I have proficiency and perception. I have, I, two, I have two in perception. At some point, I you have to learn that. I do not have a proficiency in perception. All right, so still here, Brett? Yeah. That's uh, Yeah. I might have to go to you for arcane training. 
We're, but we'll figure this out. <laughs> right now, uh, the campaign. Yes. Bundle looks for Belxis. Does he find a Belxis? Mm. Belxis is standing out towards the path that leads back towards the uh, rocky shale pit and the uh, eventually towards the spindle wood and the undersider pass. All right, Bundle goes up to her and says, "I hear that we need to renegotiate." I really don't want to go back down there with you fools, but seeing as Hygric sees no reason to not try again, I'm giving you once more. However, any more instances of friendly fire will probably cause me to drag him out of there and leave you to your own whims. Well, the nods, that is a fair assessment. I'm not going to even try and argue it. If anything was to happen, it would be devastating. But we pray that it will not be coming from our end. If it does, I will not blame you for dragging yourself out of there. And besides, we've already spoken of how I feel about this before. I, all, all I need to know is, does our deal need to change, or are we good? I retain the right to renegotiate as I see fit when I feel fit. Right then. We'll be leaving within a few hours. Right. And Bundle calls it there. We're getting ready to go in a few hours. Get what you need. Dash has everything he needs. Same here. Mm. Yep. I think we're good to go. All right. Yep. After taking the time to clean up the camp, making sure everything's put into our chest, Bundle, I guess, leads the crew out away from the Luplanders. Um, uh, uh, during the few hours, uh, Rania uh, went uh, to meet with uh, Luplander uh, the matriarch and uh, uh, like thank them for allowing them to stay. Uh, uh, I don't really want to go into it in character time, so uh, we'll just like say that happened. Okay. Yeah, she acknowledges your presence and uh, kind of just lets you on your way and just gave you a curt nod. It's a good kind of nod. Goes to rejoin his party. Alright, so you guys head back out. And this time you take the scenic route just, oh. just around the shale pit because just do we see anything of note on the way there? Uh, perception. Mm. <sighs> oh! Oh, mm. God, Bundle. Oh! Uh, oh! Oh, Rod, you, God! <laughs> Rod, you tapped the forehead. I mean, we might as well get uh, some of that ones out as, as it is. Yeah. Uh, that so could have been on a trap. So, and, yeah. uh, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Dash, that's a, that's a good roll, man. You see something. It would, it would have been better in the underpass. Uh, uh, well, for now. What do my dragon eyes see? It's fairly oh. calm today. Hmm, okay. It's pretty damn calm, there's not much going on. Uh, Bundle, you trip and fall <laughs> into, uh... Into a thing of oh, Burs. no, no. Uh, a pile of auroch dung. Oh, oh, God. God. oh my God! 
I'm curious how Filiana's one is gonna work out since she's in the cart. What is it? She just bonks her head. <laughs> Again. Um. <laughs> she sees. Uh, she sees crystals and uh, little lizard folk running around her head. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you, you guys okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh. I'm okay. <laughs> what was that? That was the flies buzzing around the dung. <laughs> uh, Eliana, do you have presentation? I do, but I'm currently seeing lizards. <laughs> uh, yeah, just they'll walk it off. <laughs> I <laughs> did not realize what he just said. What Sorry. Is a rock to rock or a rock. Oh, I can. I shake my. I shake my head a bit, trying to like you know, get it. Uh, like you know, get my get my bearings back in order. Can't check. Oh, oh shit! God. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Hey! Hey! You shake Damn. those beasties away. Awesome. I'm like, oh, uh, is Bundle out of the dung pile yet? Run is staring at the dung pile, trying to figure out what the hell made that. Tap his forehead quick. Nope. <laughs> All right. And uh, as as they're that is going one big along. Pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. As they're going along, Dash would just say. Oh, as far as I can see, there's no shifty ass robed motherfuckers carrying around unconscious people. So, uh, what? <laughs> no one told Wait, him that about... those were slavers. Wait, hold up. Shifty ass motherfuckers ca carrying what? <laughs> Ronnie never knew. Oh, yeah. didn't know this. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. A couple of nights ago, when we were cap camping on our way to the underpass I, during my watch, uh, saw some real shifty people. Right. Carrying an unconscious person. I mean, would you know I be what, able to roll something on that, Dan? Who's Dan? Oh, DM. Oh. DM. Oh shit, that's a that's a that one. Okay, that yeah. happened. Bundle was. Bundle, well, Bundle says I was awake for that time. I didn't see him, but from what he describes, it sounded like slavers. Wait, those were what? Uh, I didn't want to worry about that at the time since they weren't after us and we were trying to hide and keep a Dash look. just immediately looks real bad after that uh, little bit of info. Oh. Yeah. oh, I feel real bad about myself now. I mean, there's no way you could have known. Yeah, it's I right. was the one who scared them all. Uh -huh. Oh... Trying to tell them. Running um, looks over at um, Dash. <sighs> yeah. Let's just get the underpass over with. Yeah. Uh, maybe after we're done with the underpass, we can go investigate into this. Or can't that was quite a few days ago at this point. Yeah, but they may use the way again. Let's just anyway, get this over yes. with. Yes, yes, yes. Ambush the slavers. Huh. What's up, Eliana? Can yeah. uh, can you uh, b help out uh, Bundle? Yeah, I cast Precipitation Bundle. He's fine. After the uh, after you know he got out of the shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now we're going. <laughs> so, what time is it by the time we get back to where uh, the entrance is? You make it there by early afternoon. Yay. Okay. Uh, suddenly a giant talic has appeared. Nope, sorry. <laughs> oh god! Oh god, <laughs> no! Sorry. Ah! 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 Damn it. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Right. Uh, who wants to hide the car? Bumble does. And Dash will help Feliana out of the cart. Are you yes. able to walk on? Are you able to walk on your own without the crutches? Yeah, I can. Can I, Dan? I'm nice. I'm not here. Can check. 
What? <laughs> don't don't push yourself too much. Oh, if I could give inspiration to myself, <clears throat> I would, but I can't. <sighs> no. Give me Blake's leg. I'm a no, freaking that will be on a fail. Stop it. Cook grabs his You're ears. a bit wobbly. Oh. What? Alright, hold on. Dash will just immediately start piggybacking her again. No. Well, hold up. What did the damn say? Wait, what did he say? You're a bit wobbly. I'm, I'm a bit wobbly, but I think I can walk. I say Stick. I think. <laughs> for now, that for now, I'll just I'll just carry you in. Run your walk, Silver. If door. and when, she, if and when she hits the fan, then Dash will just scoop her up. Run your walk, Silver, to both Felion and Dash, and ham them both each his uh, uh, health potions. I think you guys need this more than I do right now, or will need it down there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Thanks, Rania. Appreciate you, it. Anya. Dash will get both of them to Feliana. And I will. <laughs> but yeah, no, Dash is definitely not going to be on the front. <laughs> mm. Okay, okay. So. Um, All right. Let's do this. Been, the card has been hidden. We enter down to the depths. Do we need to roll anything to hide the card again? I would hope not, but you never know. <laughs> Stealth checks. Oh shit! Oh, bundle has it. He pushed up the front door. There okay. he go, and he's gone. Goodbye, bundle. I think that was to hide the cart. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. No, I was saying that in relation to the cart. Like, there he... And he's gone. How, how's that How's that cart hiding going? Waiting for DM? What cart? He just pulls it over into a crevice and just kicks the side of the mountain and a few rocks tumble on top of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's small size yeah. boulders where it, just enough sort of blends in and there's some dust settles on it. Okay. Nothing nothing sounds broken in there, does it? No. If anything, it will look like it's been here for years and it's been trashed. No one's gonna bother that thing. Kill. This is true. Ronnie heads down the tunnel. <sighs> down the tunnel we go. Yeah. Yep. And what yep, da Dash will, Dash is gonna stay in the back as he's holding Feliana. I'll get a spell ready just in case. Just in case. Yeah, a healing I, word. I imagine if we get into combat, I'm going to have to take an action to put you down. Yeah, either that or I just, you know, wee. I willingly, uh, I will, I willingly try to get, uh, to get myself down. Okay. So what's our order then? Our marching order. Dash will suggest either Heigrick or Belkson's at least take the front. Have one of the guides at the front. Alright, I'll take the middle behind Belkson's, I guess. And Dash will take rear guard. Probably and suggesting be... probably suggesting uh Talik could take the front as well. Why right. are we well, why are we at the end? Because, I left out there. Yeah, I don't think we're. I don't think we need to walk all the way through that revealed path already, right? No. Nope. One second, sorry. Just... Okay. You okay? Uh, I'm fine. All right. Let me see. You sound a little there tired. There you go. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, you good place. Oh, and uh, it, well, what happened with what happened with the, the Earth Mall? I'm gonna say Belksis did some preemptive running ahead and fixed it for you. How the hell? Thanks, Belksis. Thanks, Belksis. Love you, Belksis. Yeah. Shit. 
She is tired of our shit. <laughs> okay. With reason. <laughs> because. Yeah, also, I'm okay. tired of our shit. Yeah. Alright. So, Rodia raises up his hands and looks over there at the uh, bundle. You need a little guidance before you go out scouting? Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Mm. Ranya taps um, on his knee. What can I use? Give him some guidance. All right. Um, then Bundle looks to Beltis. Which path do you think we should take, or does it really matter? <coughs> she takes out a coin. <laughs> Heads left, tails right. Are you joking me? Nope. Do you, do you have any better ideas? I mean... That's left it is. Alright then. Stay put. I'll be right back. Uh, I just assume one means heads, right? Yeah. So yeah, super stealthy. Uh, that's a Christ. nat 19. Mm. Good work. I'm All right. N- now we, now we let Brett do his thing. Mm-hmm. Although I'm not entirely sure if a stealth check will fool a trap. It depends on if I have to describe what I'm doing. Mm. You have dark vision, right, Bundle? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. All right. The yellow stuff is the glowing mushrooms, right? Yep. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Why don't you take this opportunity to carve off a little more chop? Uh, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we kind of determined last time that that would just kill the mushrooms and they wouldn't glow anymore. The chalk, not the, not the mushrooms. The, the chalk, yeah. Oh, chalk. My bad. I th- I thought you said you took the time to chop one, of the, take one of the mushrooms to chop. Nah. Nah. You never know when you might need a bit of chalk. All right. When he gets to this section, he's going to actively look for if there's any like a pr- a pressure plate or a trip wire that might be on the ground within the next ten feet in front of him. Investigation. You got this. No, you don't. Perfect. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right. Oh. oh, we're going to die. Bundle's going to die, and we yeah. won't know shit's coming. Does he can't Take him. Him. Since he can't tell what's good in front of him, 10 feet. He's going to let's see. T- take one of the torches and toss it, seeing if it tumbles far ahead enough to make anything uh, trip. Okay, you toss it, and nothing happens. Hmm. You're tripping balls, man. Well, then he doesn't see anything, so he's going to go back to this square right here and wave everybody on, but to stay quiet. I'm going to wave back. I'm, I'm motioning to come to me. Hi. <laughs> right, so you move forward. Oh, yeah, right. I can't move. You can't move unless I move, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for these two to move now. And we're walking. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Ranya looks over at Belzis. Oh. Any traps up ahead? Considering the coin toss, I don't think she knows. I don't think so. Hmm. We don't see a rule, so. Oh, wait, I misunderstood that entirely. My bad, to Belzis. I moved up, by the way, Feliana. 
Hey, Brett, are you okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Bad day? You, you sounded depressed, so... Yeah, so we were just asking, hey, dude, bad day? Um, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. But anyway. S straight or right, fearless leader. Thunder goes right. Doesn't say anything. He's testing his feet as he every time he walks. You may want to wait for the map to clear a bit. That was the mistake I made. Rania prepares okay. his uh, his uh, thorn whip just in case as a reaction. Or as a radio action, I mean. Shit, I just um I just realized. We kinda trusted Bundle to uh, Bundle to uh, check for traps, so technically I cannot check for traps. <laughs> Alright. Um I see And we that... don't know that it... I see that the floor is different right here. Hmm. What would I ever have to roll to figure out why that is? Mm. Investigation. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, the, the previous tunnel looks like it was hastily made as an entrance tunnel. This seems slightly more refined, a bit more smoothed. Oh. Looks like actual architecture opposed to just a hole. Yeah, like there's actually like a curve and like an angle to this one rather than just haphazard just dig, 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 dig a tunnel. Dig it a hole! Dig, a hole. dig it a hole! Dig a hole! I move a bit dig closer. Get oh. to about right here. Then peek around the corner. There's a doorway. Oh, shit. Trap check. I'm going to check for irregularities in the patterns leading up to the doorway. Investigation. Should we move up our characters? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've been, for some reason, waiting for Belksis and... Uh... Tiger. Sorry. Icon. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's fine. That's that's on me because I, for some reason, Tiger muscles passed. I'll be like, hmm? Hmm? what? Running keeps his hmm. distance but keeps the line uh, Wait. between. Uh... I I heard that sniffle. What's up, Hygric? He shrugs. Nothing. No. Oh, all right. Thought you smelled something. What did my seventeen give me? Uh, you're 17. Uh, give me one second. Uh. Curses. Um, uh. I have one of my beef forms down, right? Because I pulled cart. Yes. Okay. I was a horse. I could probably have turned into something better. I should look in the book. Oh. oh well, it's fine. I don't. I can really turn anything any more faster. Just look at him too. Oh, this is going on. There it is. Okay, so it's you go to the door and it seems like it's set into the wall. Hmm? It's a stone door. Looks like it hmm. hasn't been budged anything in a while. So there are no traps 
obvious in the hallway? Nope. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start moving forward then. And wave everybody to, to move along as well. Right. Belks just moves a little bit ahead of you and just pokes the door with a claw. He's like, mm, this will require someone more strength based than I am. Uh, give me a second. Pardon me. Gonna have. Okay. Damn. <laughs> You both might want to handle that door. Yeah. yeah. Wait here for a second, yep, Bell. Take... Gotcha. Dash will put Bell down and squeeze his way on over to the door. Should uh, I maybe detect magic or traps on the door just in case? Maybe. Is it a cantrip? No. It is a full-on spell. I'll be using it as a spell. Detect magic would probably be a good idea. And then once he's uh, doing... Oh wait, I don't have to check them. I have to spell magic. Not to oh magic. right, yeah, no. Well, uh, all right. Did I have magic? You ready, Talik? Before uh, you guys no. just tear at the door, let me ins let me see right quick. And bundle is inspects it for traps. I don't want anything jumping on top of me. Dash will go ahead and assist with that. Feliana might want to try to investigate it for arcane traps. What would, I don't uh, see shit. What would it be to investigate for arcane? Something of the sort, like magical, you know. I'm looking for traps, man. Investigation. Okay. I'm just poking at it. Thank you, Feliana. You're welcome. Okay, to Fel's knowledge, this door is not necessarily trapped as much as it is just stuck. Hmm. Cool. It's stuck. No traps. All right, you're good to uh, do your thing. Bundle backs up. <laughs> All right, on three, Talek. You ready? Three. Oh, no. God damn it. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's yeah. not how it works, and now I'm doing most of the work. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you, you shoulder check the thing, and it, it, a little bit of dust crumbles from, like, the top, like, porthole area. Does it does it move? No, it's I'm... slightly like half an inch. You can suspect, but you can't really. Tell. Could Hygric also fit up here with me in Talic? Yes. I don't think. Hygric, <gasps> three man job. Okay. There. Runya comes up. Bumping. One. Taps his shoulder. Try Two. Three. Three. <clears throat> Roll that D4, buddy. Boo. Talek. Yeah, I tapped your shoulder quick. Okay, that's better. It's an 11 and 12 and a 16. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, have you not tried pulling it? Is there, <laughs> Is there a handle? <laughs> Did we forget to pull a handle? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I swear to God, it might be an issue. <laughs> Actually, no. There probably wouldn't be a handle, considering nope. if we if this pulled out. Sweet Jesus! If it ended up being a pull door, in this narrow of a tunnel, there's no way that's a pull door. I I don't know. You never know. I could have built it from the other way. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. Wait. You guys could just be making it worse. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey. There's a person named Breaker in here. Hello, Breaker. Hi, uh, Breaker. checks the door again. Well, let's uh, see what we... our strength checks get us. 
What do we see hinges? Yes. Hold <laughs> on. Let, let's see what our strength checks <laughs> get us. Okay. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Welcome to the dynamics of good and evil, where we don't know if we're trying to open, push a full door. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Halitalic. Hey, don't blame me. Blame the oh, people. Who Thank you for this. dropping by. Uh, check the archives if you're interested. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to make one more strength check to see if we can all open this door. Oh, Alrighty. But, right. but yeah, no, D and D is real fun, Breaker. Mm. Oh. Okay, third time's the charm. You got this. I believe in. Uh, I believe in your inspiration towards Dash. Runya walks up and uh, taps the uh, uh, Hygric this time. Come on, Let's do this. One, three. Two. Damn it! Goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, inspiration. The oh. best you can get is a thirteen. I'm blaming that on Talik going <laughs> early. I <laughs> uh, has guidance, by the way. I know. Hey, uh, I don't hey, think if we do it when they don't, when the door doesn't expect it, we will win. So why would? The Eliana, do you have to detect magic? Let, let Brett speak. Oh, yeah. So the door moves another inch, but it's still not quite open. What is with this door? It's in a very, very old cavern. That thing probably <laughs> something runs. Ah, Dash is just it. pushing again. Uh, wait, wait. Run your oh! <laughs> hey, there we go. Come on, you piece of shit! Runya taps Talik. Go for it, little buddy. <laughs> well, I can't. Uh, well, I can't. Uh, I can't learn to tech magic. I can learn to spell Ooh. magic. You know, I'm gonna take pity cow. on you guys. So, I mean, he got a nat twenty. True, but a group check technically every at least half the group has to succeed, but. Oh, hell with it. Okay. I was gonna say, Ron here, can you turn into a dinosaur? Mm, <laughs> there is no. <laughs> there is not enough room for that. No. Okay, no. So, okay let's. So eventually, Dash in his eternal rage just finally just swing kicks the door <laughs> and it finally scrapes open. Yeah! <sighs> And as he opens it, just this, this waft of, like, Sorry. stagnant musk hits you full on in the face. Yeah. I will oh. not be bested by- Oh! Oh, he got it in my mouth! He got it in my mouth! <laughs> Rod, you use his druid craft to blow some of the air back in and, uh, oh, oh, oh. Up the air with some Now there's, like, a, a little swirl lilac. at where the doorway meets Dash. It's like- uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made it worse! <laughs> Roger feeds in the smell of lilacs in there as well. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna head back and start I'm hearing. Alert, it's a lilac! Again. <laughs> and Dash just slowly meander meanders back and picks Speliana back up. Good job! Yeah. Bundle just goes forward, just grimacing at the smell. Good work, guys. Ron is still projecting more smell of lilacs to try to mitigate some of the smell. Yeah, I only had Dash react the way he did because it got in his mouth because he was mid-speech when it happened. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Dash. Well, we did it. All right. Woo! Dash will not be bested by a goddamn door. And or what? Taste got to him. Bundle boy, uh, you want to check uh, to see what's in there? Peek. I already said he got moved to the door and stepped inside. You sure you want to look through the door before stepping? We into we, it? we 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 have to load to the next map before we can see what's beyond the door. Yeah. So yeah. perception checks. Let's go. Crack them knuckles off. It's time to do some perception. 
Perception. And no. <laughs> Not bad. Throw that D4. Okay. So. Thank you. Uh, Bundle, you're just lost. It's like you get in there first and the dust is still settling and you get a, just a little bit in your snout and it's like giving you a bit of that allergic reaction. Um, fell. Yeah. You still got your cool shades on, so. <laughs> like, oh, shit, I forgot to take these off. She takes them off, puts them in a pack. Nice, uh, nice and safe. <laughs> Dash, Talik, and Rania. I need to think. Let, let, let Brett speak. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how far do all of you have da dark vision, if at all? I don't have dark vision. <laughs> I do not. Minor, minus 60 feet. Minus okay. 60 feet. Oh, God. So... Ronnie takes out a torch. Lights up with druid craft. Hold on. I'll wait on that. So, uh, there is a pile of bones on the floor. Long oh, spindly God. bones just to the left. And in front of you, just over here. Ronnie, hold off on that torch. Uh, Ronya puts uh, down the torch. Bongo <gasps> looks to the others, nods, and bones. tries to go stealth. At the at the mention of bones, <sighs> that's a nat nineteen. Man, he fades into the uh, into the stone. <laughs> we lost bundle, guys. <laughs> Well, where'd Bundle go? He's a stone crawler. He's gonna get close to the bones and inspect them. How do you inspect them? I'm looking them over, not touching them, seeing if they are the bones of a humanoid or something bigger or smaller, just by Seeing if he can see the skull and the ribcage. While, while he's doing that, Ronnie would like to go over to Talek and, uh, and Dash and ask them if they have anything heavy on them. Okay. So. Dash, Talek, seriously, uh, do, do you guys have anything heavy on you? Well, in case if the door shuts. Up. Nothing that would keep the door open, no. Pretty much. No? Damn it. Also, how much does Feliana weigh? Uh, I'm only 125 pounds. Depending on how carrying works, I'm over my weight <laughs> capacity. <laughs> I imagine it works differently since I'm actively carrying you in both arms. That's it, yeah. Um... Bundle, these bones shimmer slightly in your not sure it's because they moved or because of the trick of the la of the lackluster light in the room. Oh. That makes me feel uneasy. I gulp and still facing the bones, back step towards the party. <laughs> What's up, bundle? Back it up. I reveal myself to, to Dash. Boy, I didn't tell you what the bones were. Um, they were yeah, long bones. and reptilian. Almost oh, like shit. the giant the skeleton, almost like the giant skeleton of a snake. Oh. Bundle does what, as I said, and says, that's a giant dead snake. Dead, dead snake? Was there anything odd about the bones? I can't tell if they moved or not. It's hard to really see in here. Dash will try to quietly pass on that information to the rest of the group. That so. there's a giant dead. Oh. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'm not giving inspiration, but you can do it. <laughs> you can tell me to do. Oh no. You, you can't do it, dude. <laughs> You 
god. <laughs> Fucking oh. damn it. Oh. So before I down. leave you. The bones shake and sh and rattle as they lift up to form. Oh. oh! Is that a bone snake? That is not a human head. I mean, uh, that is that, that looks like a human head. That is a human head. Oh, and as it lifts up and shakes and rattles, it seems to echo. Across across the room, almost like it doubled. Oh, that's the height. <gasps> oh, 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 boy. Oh, here's thing. It didn't, didn't... Here's thing. The echo didn't come from this direction. Oh, oh, no! Bundle takes oh. out his bow. <laughs> Run oh, time oh, time God. for initiative. Are there and... any rocks that Ronnie can shove into the doorway? Fel prepares, uh, uh, Fel prepares a shattering, uh, a, a, a shatter as, spell. And as Belxis just delves into her pack, and Hygric prepares his great great axe, we are going to stop the session there. Oh, oh boy! Oh, that! Oh the, my god! Oh. That cliffhanger! Oh, that cliffhanger though! My my fail of a roll. Made the perfect cliffhanger bait. My mm. failure of a live stream. Oh, don't say oh. that. I, not your fault. Yeah. The Stuff happens. Now. Let's all give the DM a hug. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, yeah. For we those of us who hug. joined us, I hope you guys enjoyed even when the uh, stream went down. Oh, yeah. I love you, Breaker. I hope you subscribe to the stream and... Uh, uh, I yeah, um, we, if you subscribe to, um, hold on one second, I can transition to the good pre-show slideshow that has my Twitter handle where I will post updates to, uh, usually with the, about an hour or half an hour before we start streaming again. And if, not, if you follow on, if you follow this account on Twitch, you will get updates in your email saying, oh, by the way, they're starting now. Yeah, and we generally meet twice a week on Mondays and whatever other yeah. day works, I think. Yeah, yeah like whenever the Friday. Whenever the hell else shows up. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, generally Mondays are always the guaranteed day. And the time is usually always 7 o'clock PST. And sometimes there's a second each week. Uh, it might be Thursday, it might be Friday, it might be Saturday. Um, See so, yeah, how... Yeah, so it's sometime during the weekend is what we've narrowed it down to. Sometime yes. later. So, either, so on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, get ready for the second stream of the week. It's going to be one of those days. Not all three, but definitely one of them. Or maybe all three. Although no, because that would do... be four sessions a week. And yeah, that's exactly. too much. Yeah, that, that, uh, that's except too much. for that one time we had like three sessions in a row for some reason. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, it would. We had three sessions in a week, not... We had two in a row. Fair enough. Because we did one on Friday and one on Saturday, and you guys asked me on Sunday, I'm like, I, I really don't... I'm, I'm really not feeling this. Yeah. But yeah, no, uh, be sure to spread the word, too. Definitely, uh... Definitely always welcome for... Definitely always welcome. Yeah, I'm Brett yeah. Liz. I'm, uh, the Game Master and, uh, Resident Psycho. So... Uh, I'm, yeah. uh, I am Deneb. I am, uh, I play Rania, the best character in the whole campaign. You damn liar. Lies! And probably, uh, the first to get a plushie of my Yeah, I'm Avon Holter on Twitch, and I play the Black Dragonborn, uh, barbarian named Dashigan. With, who, who's also the only one with art that I made. Eh, I mean, my thing, my thing has, it's only yeah, for my profile. If I can work up the will, I might I try, might try to make icons for the rest of the characters. I'm working on it. Time to aim. Talic bundle! 
Peliana, your guys' turns. By the way, who's oh, uh, the guy in front of us? Uh, oh, that's Hydric. I've never seen yeah. him. Never I'm, uh, I'm Panda Pig, and I play Feliana, the, Mep the, Mephisto, uh, the Mephisto Demon Bard. Uh, it, it was added to a nerf on Connor. Mm -hmm. I am Nova Pierce. I play Bundle. How's it going? Bundle the cat man. Yeah, I was giving out our real names or use the names. Use the names. Ah, ah okay. Talik the Knight. I'm playing the pal paladin, paladin named Talik Snowfa. The, the fuzzy paladin. Yes. A tabaxi, a black dragonborn, a Mephisto bard, er, er, a ghost a Mephisto tiefling, a ghost wise halfling, and a rat and a rabbit folk all walk into I a barn. Am not a rat. I said rabbit. rabbit. I said rabbit folk. Yeah, at first you said rat folk. No, I you said rabbit. rabbit. You just mis <laughs> you just misheard me. <laughs> I still think that he's a defender of rat folk. God. Darn it, Rania, I will it makes personally sense. slap you. That's fucking nice. Be proud. Rad folk are awesome rogues. All I'm gonna say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am not a rogue. You know this. But yeah, thank you for dropping by, everyone who did, and uh, until we see you later on, uh, stay safe and healthy out there, and be sure to drop by next time. And be see sure to spread the word, too. See the exciting yeah. conclusion of the Undersider Pass arc. Mm. Done, Fucking finally. Done. <laughs>